Oh, please don't uh, tell I me. I can't wait to see it. And it should be nice. Right. There we go. Can you spot yeah. the last moment addition <laughs> to the screen? What? Oh, I'm like squeezed in there. Not <laughs> <laughs> bad. Hello. Yeah. Look, Sam We're... just had to take a vacation. I'm gonna say it's. Is it possible you could probably shrink me by like 10% and slide me over no. and slide Bell no. over a bit? What I can do is I can actually like shrink everyone on the down, uh, like the down tab a little bit more so that everyone has space. I'll do that in between streams. Uh, for Maximum now, we are flying off awesome. the seat of our pants. Uh, so hi, <laughs> hello everyone. My name is Generous Heal and I am the game master for this campaign. Um, for those of you who don't know, I actually know nothing, Jon Snow, and, well, it's session five at this point. We're gonna do a real quick introduction of who everyone is playing what. Uh, here's how it works. Uh, you're gonna say your name, what, who you're playing, level and class, and you pass it on to someone else. The last person to do an introduction uh, will do the recap. And... The person who does do the recap uh, gets a point of inspiration, and then you as a collective group gain a point of inspiration, like the group inspiration. <sighs> so, one, two, three, four, I choose... Roll a dice, how many people do we have? Uh, we have seven people, I think. We sure do. Uh, Wait. We have six, because Sam's six. not here. Yeah, Sam's not here. Yeah. Uh, since Sam is dead... No, my, not my character's best friend! Uh, Aries, you go first. Oh, okay. Uh, hi, I'm Aries. I play Ruler, uh, a level four demonologist wizard who looks like a tiefling with an interesting past that has not been able to be revealed just yet. Uh, I'm going to pass it on to Edge. Oh, you need to say your uh, your character class and levels, please. I did. Oh, you did. I am blind and deaf. Continue. All right. Uh, uh I'm Karen. I'm I'm playing Etch, a Warforged Rune Knight fighter, a an automaton who awoke in an abandoned place and has since been wandering uh, with his simple with his programming, with all the knowledge and ab abilities that, that have been built into him, and kind of trying to find out who made him and why. Made them, sorry. And, uh, and for that, I will, uh, I'll turn it to Henry. Alright, well, I'm Henry. I'm a level 5 fighter, human man. I am also a battle master, by the way. Okay, that's it. I'll pass this one off to... Pass it to Victor. Hey, my name is Victor. I am playing a satyr... A fighter, fifth level. Uh, I'm playing a homebrew subclass that our DM made called Siege Master. I'm gonna be passing this on to uh, Archibald. Give it, give it the sucks. Give it the sucks. <laughs> My bad. Okay. Oh, it sucks. I can give the recap, but I wasn't here, so it's just gonna be. Yes. The I... recap is. How would you, how I would you give us a recap? <laughs> I'm Sox. I'm playing Helios, a furbolg level 5 divine soul sorcerer who's just kind of, you know, hanging out, having a good time. I don't know what's going on. I wasn't here last session. I went to rehab with Felix, and now I'm here. Woo! Now, now I'm just all to go. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. You're not all there, right. are you? Yeah, that's why yeah. I put myself outside the door at first because I'm like I'm not in the room. There you go. I'll yeah. the <laughs> Continuity to the street with you. Yay. So, uh, my name is uh, Malachi. I play Archibald, a level five pilot artificer. Uh, he is seeking his creator uh, as like an awoken possum, uh, so he can throw hands. And with that, I believe it's time for the recap. Which I will kindly ask for a moment while I rack my mind for the order of events. Okay. Now, I believe we started out uh, just outside of 
Grizz's office. The group broke up to do, uh, kind of take on multiple tasks, uh, much to Jen's ire once again. Uh, I want to say it was Van? Or was it Victor that tailed uh, Aldrock with uh, Ares, uh, a ruler's familiar fox? I don't, somebody help. <laughs> I, I don't remember. It was Victor. Was it was Victor. It was Victor. Victor. Okay. So Victor. Yeah, Victor and Fox. Victor and Fox went and tailed Aldrox. Uh, Victor ended up doing a really great performance to distract everyone while Fox snuck inside and copied down and found information uh, showing the trade logs and the fact that they were amassing a large amount of weapons. Uh, sort of like off the books under the guise of like other things. He also spotted a kobold in there. Uh, so we discovered that he was, uh, people have been inside uh, providing arms to the kobold. Uh, and subsequently the dragon folk and assumed green ja uh, dragon that is behind it all. Uh, the, the attacks on the city. From there, we also had Ruler and Henry go attempt to make contact with the mayor. Uh, they were unsuccessful in uh, getting an audience, but upon closer inspection and walking around, due to Ares using, uh, sorry, Ruler having uh, see invisibility active, was able to find a secret hidden door on the back of the mayor's uh, kind of like building. I'm not sure if it's a house. I think it's probably like probably not their personal house. Probably a, more of a Town hall sort of thing. Uh, noting that, they then began making their way towards the square after meeting up with Etch and and Vel. Uh, Etch and Vel had just come from the uptown barracks in order to uh, try to gain audience with, I believe, Zephan, uh, only to find that he was unavailable and or busy, and then subsequently tried to get into contact with, uh, what is her name again? Starts with an S, I want to say. Sabine. Sabine. I was like, I wanted to say Safine, like Sapphire, because like, she's blue colored, but yes, yeah, Sabine, uh, learned of her location over in a town square, uh, and began making her way over, which is where they came into contact with Henry and Ruler. They all, as a group, began to make their way over. Uh, while that was occurring, uh, Archibald went to the Low Town workshop, uh, met up, took care of a few things, got you know people kind of sorted out, and then began making his way towards Uptown with the intent of selling some uh, products he had just purchased and made in order to make a profit but was distracted by a very tasty wild berry pie uh, sitting on a windowsill. Uh, unable to resist, he ate the whole thing and, as apology, repaired an old lady's rocking chair. Uh, as that was occurring in the town hall, uh, the rest of the group came into contact with uh, Sabine and a group of lumberjacks uh, not so much in a full altercation at that point, but at a disagreement and discontent with masses for the lack of protection that the Lumberjacks were being offered while they were doing their jobs. Uh, Sabine simply kept stating that she could not uh, afford to give much uh, more because they just didn't have the manpower. Uh, there was some back and forth over that. Uh, I believe Sam uh, or Bell made a check and failed terribly and just thought that, ah, she's just really lonely and hasn't gotten any in so long that she's, it's affecting her work. So that was an interesting moment. Uh, from there, there, with the see invisibility spell 
still active on Ruler, she was able to spot a green pseudo dragon uh, sitting atop the fountain. Uh, we'll get back to that momentarily, as it was then that uh, Henry and Etch uh, both addressed uh, Sabine, offering their services uh, or the services of the group to kind of fill that void of like trying to, uh, uh, protection for the Lumberjacks. Uh, Sabine wanted to make the Lumberjacks themselves pay for it, though they could not afford it. Uh, during all of this interactions, the crowd became incensed at the, uh, clear disregard for their well-being and safety. In seeing this, Sabine sent a guard away to go fetch more guards in order to presumably, uh, imprison, uh, those who were speaking out. Uh, as this is happening, Ruler uh, used her telekinetic, uh, like, shove, basically, or, like, her, like, extra, like, magic hand thing that she uh, has access to in order to grab the pseudo-dragon, which uh, caught it off guard and brought it out of invisibility, which caused an issue as uh, people were suddenly aware of its presence. Uh, using that opportunity, uh, we convinced the Lumberjacks to kind of move away before they were uh, captured and potentially imprisoned. The guards that were showing up to do that were then turned to take care of the pseudo-dragon, and with that kind of disguising our actions, used our information uh, that we gained in order to gain an audience with Zeppin himself. I don't think I've missed anything up till now, have I? Not so far. I don't think so. Not so far. Right. Right. Zephyr jumped out the window. Yes, then we got to Zephyr's office. Uh, had some back and forths. Uh, just talking about specific things. Trying to deduce stuff. Uh, some bad insight rolls. Some really good insight rolls. One nearly missed really good insight information that <laughs> completely changed the course of the entire situation. Don't uh, worry, we, we, we five de-trust him. Yeah, and basically just, you know, piled onto him a bunch of stuff to uh, kind of, su for lack of a better word, suss him out. Uh, realizing uh, that we were beginning to be, uh, catch on to him as being uh, not who, not aligned with whom he says he's aligned with, uh, he panicked, uh, and after Rulers, uh, had her, uh, demon attempt to, while in a pocket watch form, cast friends on him, but he, uh, made the save, uh, saw that as the act of aggression, uh, and leapt out the window. Uh, in doing so, uh, Archibald casted Featherfall on him to slow his descent to buy us more time to stop him from running. And that is where we're going to be cutting off the recap and resuming from where we last la from blah 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 from where we left last time. Uh, considering that in universe Helios is on the way uh, with your vehicle, tie that in. <laughs> That's funny. Let's. Uh... I, that does have a move speed of forty, so it keep does. that in mind. That is. Like, a, about 33% faster than normal move speed. Indeed. Roll me a d4, if you would. You're looking for a low roll here. Oh, God. Me, or...? I'll say... Um, you know I'm good at that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you, because I'm like... I got a one. You asked the wrong person to roll low, Jin. Cool. One round uh, is how long it will take, apparently, your vehicle to join combat by arriving underneath the fucking building, as you had probably set its course to start moving the moment you realized some uh, something was wrong in your discussion with Zephyr. Yeah, also, it's not like I can see where it's driving, aside from it just following roads for the most part, so, like, 
It's not trying to swerve around people. Oh no! <laughs> so people are just like, fucking, the get out of the way! I see. <laughs> yeah, just diving out I of the way. Damn, I, I sure, heard I, your I, I, would be like that. Uh, I sure hope a suspiciously placed cabbage cart doesn't get destroyed. We're <laughs> <laughs> we're like a fruit like a fruit stand. Yeah, right. and it's like oranges. So let's move us over to the map. There it is. On the stream, and we are going to immediately uh, roll initiative, everybody. Oh, and the Make sure you click your token before, uh... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Oh, God, he gets first turn. Zephan is I, fucking I... prepared! Fuck! Oh, yeah. Mmm, yeah, Remember, you can hot or You can use your reroll on initiative if you want. Never. Also, it's my... Is right. my token on the board anymore? Because I can't see the oh, map. So uh, you're arriving literally at the end of the first round because of how okay. low the D4 roll is. So you're going to arrive very quickly. Cool. I'll roll my initiative when I'm on the map because yeah. I can't see yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, I, wanted, I wanted to say it's good that he's going first because he can't do anything. He's still in the air, just slowly falling down, so it's fine. Slowly, oh yeah, how high up is this building? Like 50 feet. So at the I end of his turn, he will descend to the ground. Got it. He can't do anything. Correct. Nice. Like, he can't do anything with his first turn. Well, technically he can, but we'll see if he wants to. Um, because this is a development. Ah, see, I was hoping someone would, someone with the ability to like yoink him back through the window would beat the initiative. I rolled, uh, I rolled very high there, big guy. I rolled in, I rolled in GM mode. Why the fuck did that happen? Yeah. I, oh, yeah. oh. So what you're saying is you cheated. No. I rolled. A it doesn't count. <laughs> Roll it again. <laughs> I oh, rolled a 19, okay, I deserve this. <laughs> You're not taking this from me. Alright, uh, if that's the case, I'll just put the initiative bar a little bit more here. Perfect. So, once everyone is ready, uh, verifying that these are your rolls. Anyone want to use uh, inspiration? Try and get higher than Zephyr? Uh, nope. Well, I'm, I mean, I don't, I don't. I, I do. I want to try. All right. Okay, I'll roll again. Please. Yeah, Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. The exact, are you kidding me? Oh, wait, this is the exact same number. Oh. Uh, I'll say wow. roll again that... because I'm not going to let that slide. That's sad. Well, uh, it's, yeah. like, like, it's right after him, so, you know, maybe I could. I could. Maybe. Just maybe. Right. Uh, I will say... Uh, Jin, uh, because Helios would be designated as an ally, she does not need to make intelligence checks to uh, pilot my vehicle. That's cool. Uh, yes, however, it doesn't say specifically drive. Yeah, I know. Uh, so, Helios, yeah. when you arrive, you can, uh, if you look at the pilot artificer uh, subclass, uh, uh, there's a whole slew of options for you to use. Uh, do not, uh, you do like... not say that. Say say just what your vehicle can do and help your fellow player out that way because that is way less confusing. Uh, you can, as an action or bonus action, drive up to its speed. Uh, okay. it, it gets a free speed. Like, on my turn, it can just move uh, on its own as well for free. So it, you're going to catch this guy. Uh, <laughs> you know, he's not beating 80 movement. Uh, and you can make a melee strike, a range strike, uh, or brace to take the dodge action. You can also attempt to ram by running into him. Okay. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, he you're going to be able to catch up to him. All right. Then let us actually get into the spirit of the combat that we have entered ourselves into. Beginning with the first round of combat, which is the big guy Zephan himself. Now oh, that's in the middle of the track. There we go. 
So Zephon is falling, and to be fair, it's not the best kind of moment for him, because he cannot move from his spawn. As he is falling and he realizes that magic is slowly forcing him to descend rather than quickly as he wanted, he stares back and his eyes glimmer with malice. Let's see how far away you are from him. Yeah, Archibald's just double birds. Just both hands up, middle fingers. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> 20 feet, this fucking sucks. Uh, Zephan is just going to waste his first turn falling slowly to the ground and landing on the ground. Ah. He can't do anything as he just takes right. out his shield and. Uh, Alright. Yeah. Okay. Lance. Um. First of all, can I just leap over the. Can I just leap over the desk? Like, as, as they move? Uh, that will be counting as difficult terrain. Okay, we're not. Just leap over it. It's one, two, three. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, I think even with difficult terrain, that's still 30 right there. One, two, three, four. Drop down. That's a 50 foot fall, my guy. 50 feet? It is I a thought 50 it was 20 foot. feet. Did I see 20 feet last session? Well, you just said it just said 20 feet just now. Oh no, I said 50 feet. Uh, as a distance drop. And how much it's falling okay. damage would that be? How much, it's okay, I, I, have, I have plenty of HP. How much falling damage would that be? Uh, 1d6 per 10 feet, so 5d6. So, max of 30. Up I'm, willing to take that I'm willing to take that risk. Uh, uh cool. Uh, I would like you to give me either an athletics or a, uh, give me an acrobatics check as you jump off the building. Okay. Excellent. Roll five to six. You take that much damage. That's not, not, not so bad. I was gonna say because oh, our turns oh, are all. Oh wow, not bad. Uh, you because managed to our land. Our are all. Uh, you managed to land on your feet. Uh, uh, I'll tell you that you can uh, mm, normally not be prone for failing the check. Uh, it's rather cruel. Uh, do you have any more movement? No. Uh, I'll give you. I'll give you a choice. Take the full damage or take half damage but fall prone. Your choice. Full damage. Okay. Your knees. Uh, splinter and ache as you land on the ground right next to Zephan. Okay, okay, two, gonna make two swipes with my maul. All right. Cause I, cause I got that extra attack now, baby. Twenty-three hits. Oof. Good okay. swipe. Okay, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Fire rune. Oh, you're stopping. You're forcing him to stay. Okay. Yeah. Oh no. And out of curiosity, uh, you're allowed to move and then hold an action, right? Yes. Right, I should roll the damage for it. Roll uh, the damage and for the ammo. Is jumping considered like a, like a legal option for a held action? Uh, depends on what happens then, but we'll talk about that on your turn. Uh, 21 on the strength save first. Oh, darn it. He's proficient okay, on well, saving throws. Well, I guess I can get the damage at least. Okay, uh... Well, it takes the, well, it takes the fire damage either way. Okay. So let's... It's total of... Ooh, you wait! Didn't oh wait! I didn't. Didn't... I didn't mean to. I did not mean to roll that attack again. No worries. You didn't there. do that. That's that's the damage. That's a lot of damage. Uh, Zephan takes half as much fire damage because he is in fact a tiefling. Okay. Uh, his armor does not protect against the bludgeoning, however. Oof! Ouchie. Sixteen damage. And well, I still have another attack. 
Is it okay if I use that roll for the, the extra attack, the second attack? I'll allow it. Okay. Okay, uh, so I'm not without the fire damage. Nine, Nine. blunt me. Uh, boom, boom. Both strikes uh, find purchase. One uh, strike is too heavy for him to, uh, to block with his shield. The other one you strike at his leg. And that is going to be Edge's turn. Okay. As, as Edge says to... You are not... You are not going anywhere, Captain. He grimaces. Uh, Victor, from the top of the office. All right, I wanted to, I'm thinking about doing something a little unique. This my my idea may or may not work. <laughs> what can you do anything while falling midair? Out of curiosity. Sure. Of course. Okay. So here here here's here's what I want to do. I want to dash action all the way right here, and I'm thinking I want to jump out. Uh, hmm. I, I, if I jump out, I'll land right here, right? Yes. Ooh. Uh, oh shit. Okay. I get, well, my bad. No, because I, I had, I had, a, I had a funny, I, I had a funny idea of being above him and may or may not using a fortification. You want to drop a fortification on him? Yeah, because my idea was dash, jump, action surge, and then use the fortification. Okay. Hmm. Because I'm thinking from the sheer weight of it, it's like dropping. It's like dropping a piano on the dude. But more dangerous. Mm -hmm. I'll yeah. say you can absolutely go for it. Yeah. You will need to give right, me an athletics. No. No, your strength should be enough to allow you to jump at least ten feet. Right. How much I'm sorry, strength? could you repeat that? How much your, is your strength? Uh, your mic's like muffling in word. Uh, how much is your strength? My strength? Uh, let me see. 12. That's good. Right, take out. Okay, there we go. Maybe this. Right. Maybe taking out noise suppression will be a little bit better. Uh, I think so. 12. Okay. You said your strength is 12? Yes. Ugh. Malachi, off the top of the head of your head. Uh, remember the rules for jumping distance on strength. Yeah, I'm trying to. I, I was just looking it up, but I can't remember. It. Fucking D and D Beyond doesn't even have it readily available. Yes, because they are very bad. Uh, uh could I possibly roll acrobatics then, if that's I'll, the case? I'll allow you to roll. Uh, hmm. I'll allow you to roll acrobatics for it. Yeah, go for it. All right. So as you basically 19. run down... So your strength determines how far you can jump. Uh, 19 in acrobatics. As you leap off and descend down on him, do you wish to use your action search? Yep, and then fortification. Wondrous. Roll me 5d6. Zephyr right. is going to make uh, a dexterity saving throw to avoid you falling on him. Jesus Christ. Ooh. Uh, I thought, I thought that's a bit less than what I took. Uh, he dodges out of the way of your fortification. He meets your uh, your acrobatics. Huh. Me. Uh, so as he dodges out of the way, poof, you land next to him, and both you and the fortification take 15 points of bludgeoning damage as you fall. Alright, so... Me and my hold up, I gotta double check my fortification stats, raise fort stats, I think one. Uh has num equal points to my fighter level, so that's five times so that's five, 10, 15. As twenty so how much damage did it take? Fifteen. Fifteen? Yes. Uh so that's five, ten, fifteen, five. Again, to answer your question for long jumps, it's at least ten feet of movement and then it's your strength mod or your strength score is how many feet? Okay then. Okay, cool. My fort, my fort has ten health. Half as much. <clears throat> so, so, say so you would see uh, Victor just jump out 
he pull out this like uh, metallic slab as it just as it would quickly unform into the fortification as somehow a battering ram just comes out of it. Uh huh. And as you land next to him, uh, he basically dodge rolls out of the way, Dark Souls style. He just ducks and rolls away from you as uh, you descend from the air and you land on the ground. You wanna know something funny? Mm -hmm. What? I'm gonna use. Uh, remember that edit you made? Yes. Uh, I'm gonna use my bonus action to attack him. Cool. Go for it. All right. Um. Let's see. So what is he? It is. Don't miss. Uh, attack roll equal to proficiency plus strength. That is four. Let's see. Uh, twenty-one. So uh, seventeen plus four. That hits. To hit. Okay, I'm in 12 Impressive plus roll. Three. Wait, no. Okay, hold up, so. D12 plus. It's a D12 plus. Uh... Two, unfortunately. Uh, 13 Jeez. damage. Louise, that's a, that's a solid 13. Oof. Uh, the battering ram strikes Zephan on the shield, and he blocks the strike, but the force boom, cracks the arm beneath the shield, and he sort of his eyes open wide as he, as he grits his teeth. Alright, is that your turn? Uh, I believe I have exhausted all of my resources for now. Why does it say that Taylor Swift is playing in the game channel? Wait, what? Why does it say that Taylor Swift is playing in the game channel? Because I'm listening to music. Oh. So if you hover over it, it shows what I'm listening to on Spotify. Okay. Oh, sweet. I, um, I'm gonna double check my thing real quick. Okay, that is everything I unfortunately have. That's the end of my turn. Uh, cool. We swap over to Ruler on the top. Alright, uh, go over the desk. Uh, stand over here. Uh, take the pocket watch out. Uh, bonus action. I want you to kill Zeph and Pestle. <laughs> and he extends both hands to the sides. Uh, I want to have him do a psychic strike, uh, on him. Alright. Ah. Oof, 11, that misses. Alright, that's fine. Ooh. And then, main action, fireball, seven. Okay. Actually, wait, I don't have anything better than- Oh no, this is bad, I only have firebolt. That's fine. 17 misses. Okay. And, uh... That's it for me. Very, very good. As uh, the demon looks over from the side of the banister, uh, Henry. Hear me out. What if I jump from the window and try to elbow drop this oh, man? Oh, uh, Vel also fucking disappears. What was that? Uh, Vel I disappears. will say there is, there is in fact rules for, <laughs> I'm pretty sure, for falling on someone else. <laughs> In a good way or a bad way? And uh, you take the fall damage, but they also take the fall damage. Fuck yeah. <laughs> it, we all will do it, I'm doing that. Uh, he does get to, I believe, make a, uh, acrobatic save, though. Or like an, uh, a dexterity save. Yeah, I allow a dex save from enemies. The plunging I... attack is the most reliable right. attack in the game. From what I remember is that you guys both take the fall damage, but you guys take half of it. Henry takes half and Zephyr takes the other half. Have an uh, idea, then. Uh, go for it, Henry. What do you wish to do as you're looking okay, down? Athletics, right? Uh, it would be either athletics or acrobatics. I use athletics for uh, so acrobatics for our friend here because we have a higher dexterity. <laughs> oh, athletics is way bigger for me. Can I do that? Yes, of course. Okay. Did it work? Let me see what worked. Good roll there, friend. Good roll. Let's see. 
as you leap off. Zephon is going to try and dodge away as you jump on him. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, apparently to... from... Uh, <laughs> yeah, so apparently the according to Tasha's or something like that, it, the DC's 15. Uh, I allow a check. Opposed. Oh, okay. Uh, but, uh, and he fails. Brian, this works. Yes! Uh, as yes. Uh, it is correct, because according to Tasha's as well, it, the damage is split evenly amongst them. Yep. Uh, roll 5d6, you take half as much, and so does Zephyr. <laughs> Ruler just like, hmm, look at all of them, they're fighting down there. <laughs> Did it work? Uh, I'm not seeing 5d6 in the chat. Yeah. If me and Archibald put our heads together, we can create one ruling. <laughs> right? Rule the ruling? Oh my god. Oh my god. That's the, the, the code, except without the dot. That's what I have to roll? Yes. 5d6. Without, without the period. Of course, yeah, so just do slash I R see, and... Uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, so I may oh be fine. God. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> Wait. Those are free damage. <laughs> That's twelve damage each. <laughs> oh my god! We did you guys just probably <laughs> hard. Look, Henry watches the people's <laughs> As Henry crashes onto <laughs> Zeph and he goes, "What is wrong with all of you? Do you have no sense of Do you have no sense of self-preservation?" As you notice at this point, he's bleeding. He's bloody. I love this party. If, if, if I if I can as a free action, I'm gonna just yell, "What is that?" Wait, wait, wait. Generous, can I do? Hmm? Wait, was that my whole action, or...? That was just a movement. Edge, Edge, will, Edge will respond to, uh, Zephyr and say, I know the... I know the limits of my construction. And I, I pointed him, do you? Uh, that was just a movement. Wait. You can... you still have your action. You can attack twice if you wanna. Oh, yeah, that's what I was about to say. But no. I wanna use this as well, but... I want to use this as well. Just attack him first. Oh. oh okay. Well, you can oh, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can always use action search. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. So would that be in total three attacks? Uh, that will be a total of four. Four? Okay, yeah, I'm telling yeah, you. Fifth level, buddy. Okay. Well, I'll hit him with my. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, how is it? Wait, how is it four? If you don't mind me so, asking. so let me explain. As a fighter, you get two attacks per turn at fifth level thanks to your extra attack feature. With Action Surge, by taking the same extra attack action, you make two more attacks instead of one. So two, plus two, four. Oh, okay, yeah, no. That kind of confused me, because the usual ruling is just one extra action. Yeah, so the uh, when you take the attack action, the extra attack feature lets you make extra attacks during the attack action. So, oh, okay. Henry, so, okay, that kind you of might be thinking of uh, haste. Henry, pop yeah. the fuck off. Alright, yeah, do, nice do it. Great sword attacks. One, two, three, four. Uh, two attacks hit, 21 and 23. So, okay, if you click on the great sword, you should roll damage. Yep. One, two. Ow! Hey! Uh, what? Well, Zephan's armor comes into play as his half plate is going to reduce your nine slashing into six. Mm -hmm. Oh, what the f. You rolled, so a, you, uh, you rolled a one and a four in that order twice in a row. Oh, I, I just remembered. Uh, does this reduce my uh, reduce the damage I took from falling at all? Mm. Hold on. Hold on. This. Oh, darn it! I keep trying to click it. But... There we. Go. Does this? Uh, heavy armor. Uh, yeah. Yes. Heavy armor master. Yes. Okay. Yes, it should. Three points back. Mm -hmm. Alright. Big fucking chunky boy damage though. I end my turn. Yeah. Okay. Going down the ladder. Archibald from the top. And... Nice face off. Oh sorry, before Archibald, one moment. It, at the door! Uh hearing the commotion. A guy enters on initiative round nine. As he goes, uh, Captain, uh, Commander Zephyr, um, I wanted to, what, what's, <laughs> he's just staring. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, 
that's fucking hilarious that some random dude just walks in. Uh, as he just stares, he goes, uh... No, you're to be like... Alright, let me ask you this. It's like, are you loyal to the Empire or Zephyr? To me? Uh, he looks straight at Archibald and goes, Oh, the commander is in danger. I know what to do. I know what I know what I have to do. And he um, he's gonna take out his bugle, and he's going to blow it. And a thunderous sound bellows from the instrument. Yep. Oh shit! Here comes more of them. That's his action. He oh, alerts shit. the guard. Back, man. I can't. Uh, Archibald, your turn. Uh, because you're literally in the military barracks, uh, they will arrive immediately. <laughs> so... Jen, your mic is dying. For God's sake. I'll, uh, Archibald, your turn, go. Yeah, give me a moment. I need to check <laughs> Alright. Uh... So that is definitely a possibility that I could do. Um, All right. Uh, quick question. Mm -hmm. What is this guard wearing and what is Zephan wearing? Uh, the guard in question is... Let me check. He is wearing leather armor. Okay. In that case, is it still is it still Archibald's dying? gonna yeah, Arch Archibald's gonna look at him and be like, uh, "Can I can I memorize his face?" Yes. Oh, you can't hear me, can you? Hello. Hello. Hello? Oh, we can hear you, but you're still, you're still, like, static here. Jesus. Uh, yes, you can. Oh, it's so bad. Ah. Uh, oh. I'm... Alrighty, so I've... Do I have to make a check for that, or...? No, you do not have to... No, you do not. Is it still horrible? Yes. Yeah. It's really Jesus bad. Jesus Christ. No, it might be, uh, check your... If you've got, like, a cable or something plugged in, it, it could be, uh, that needs to be fiddled with. It's, it's not just that. It's just the microphone. Ugh. Uh, uh, it keeps getting worse. Okay. You look for losing her DM, no. No, the fucking tech goblins are fucking taking him. No. He's being kidnapped. Oh, now it's Carnival. I fucking nearly killed this guy. It's not the end of that tech issue. You know what? Do I should quick question? Do we need him alive? Because I'm taking his fucking head. Uh, I don't think so. Okay, I'm taking well, his I, head. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he's gonna. I'm not ironically gonna take his head as a fucking item. You know, your evidence. You know, like oh, you, your boss, he's fucking dead. Hello, can you hear me? Well, did the other guards know about about Finn? his um? I can, I can barely hear you there. You're you were so quiet. quiet. Yes. Well, did the other, did, hmm. well, uh, to the guards? Hold, uh, like, Kelton, hold on, uh, and Kern, hold on, we're, uh, we need to let Jin fix his stuff. I just wanted to ask, uh, do we, does, does, uh, do the other guards mm. know that, you know, the, the commanding Jin? officer, or... He can't respond right now, is the problem. Jen can't respond at the moment. It's a little difficult to respond when I, you know, cannot be Oh, you're clear! Okay, we'll take it. Yeah, I am touching yeah. nothing. <laughs> Woo! Right? I have prayed to the spirit of the machine, and the machine has answered. Resume. <laughs> the machine. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. So what I'm gonna I memorize this guy's face, and uh, what did you say uh, Zephan was wearing? Uh, Zephan is wearing half plate, and he's wielding a shield. Uh, which, if you have still your magical detection on, you would know it's magical. 
<clears throat> I don't have anything of that sort, so that would be, I want to say Zell. You would have known that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go out uh, and I'm going to hop up on the windowsill. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, how much room is this back? 15? Nice, so I still got like 10. Uh, I'm going to look down mm -hmm. at uh, Zephan. You're looking and... down at him? Yeah, that is definitely within 60. I'm assuming that's within 60 feet, right? Since it's only 50 feet down? Correct. You're literally within like 50. Uh, either 50 or 55 feet. So. He's like, ah, no, 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 you're not getting away. Then he's gonna pull out a lighter. And, uh. Basically, like, light, like basically the components. Uh, I'm gonna cast Heat Metal. Cool. On his. Uh. Plague. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, so I'm. Yeah, on his medium. Uh, on his metal armor. Uh, cast the spell. Constitution saving throw incoming. Uh, I believe he has. Hold in where that would take. Yeah, and if it can't drop it, then it has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks until your next turn. Uh, if a creature is holding, uh, uh, the creature must succeed on a constitution saving throw or drop the object. Either or. So... Yeesh! Bad save there, pal. Oh, he also has uh, resistance to fire damage. He does, but the disadvantage is big. Yeah. Uh, he's gonna take five fire damage. Uh, as uh, you pull up the lighter and you spark it, uh, and suddenly Zephan catches fire and starts burning away. Uh, at this point, he's not bearing it silently anymore. He is screaming on the street. Damn. Uh, Jen, you're, you went back to being really badly static. Yeah, Jesus, happened again. But hey, though, we're gonna get him, so, you know, like I said, I call dibs on the head. Better. Well, collection. here's my concern. Like, like if the other, if the guards don't know that the com the commander and the captains are in the cahoots with the, and the, and the captain are in cahoots with the dragons, it's just gonna look like to them that we just, you know, bust into his office and attacked him. I, well, I just, I just asked that. that yeah, I just asked that guy, like, "Hey, you loyal to the Empire or Zephan?" And his response was pretty wholeheartedly, like, "Ah, the he's being attacked. Like, I know what's going on. It's safe to assume that there's plenty of people who are in on it. Specifically, his like personal guard and like the people that are around him the most, and that probably went out into the forest with him. So we know that there are some that are." I could just disguise myself as Zephan and try to convince the other guards to go to him on this one guy. Alright, you really gonna try to girl your girl boss this your way out of this? Uh next round. Gonna gaslight gatekeep girl boss? Yeah. Next round. Uh he, God, you're not visible on the map because he, he, you're a little in the edge. Uh Helios, you're on the map. Roll initiative. Woo! Uh, in addition, guards are showing up on the top and lower floor. I got a 12. That's good. Yeah. Uh, that's very good. We're gonna drop some guards down here. We're exiting from the end main entry point of the barracks. Very good. Uh, okay. Uh, those are acting on initiative round nine, together with their guard pal. <laughs> uh,
Zephan is going to take his first actual meaningful action this game. He really should have dodged. Enough! Do you think you can just get away with this? Yes. I, I have received quite the boon. And uh, as he's holding his mace, it starts to crackle with lightning and spark with thunder. Uh, he lifts it up and he will use an action to activate lightning tendrils from his cobbled star. Uh, I need Edge, Vel, and Henry to make dexterity saving throws. What save throws is that? Dexterity. Dexterity. Oh. Oh. Okay. I'm fucked. Uh, and I need also Vel. Oh, yeah, Vel. Wait, I mean Victor? Yeah, Victor, but... Oh, Victor, I said... I, yeah, sorry. Victor! I'm, dexterity to say it. I am now... I am now slightly sad. I've been referred to as Vel. I'm sorry. <laughs> you, you all look... You all look the same. <laughs> no, that's horrible. That's very also false. That's so okay. not true. <laughs> <laughs> we... None of us look anyone similar. You completely... You cannot confuse anybody here, okay? You gotta... Adrian, do you, uh... Do you get cover, uh, any kind of cover from your, uh... uh yes. I have... I get, I, I get 18 AC, and... Well, the thing is, generous and... Really, cover, three quarters? Uh, I believe half... Let me go... I need to double check my notes. Uh, generous, there are some ifs and ands with the thing, but to sum it up, uh, before it has 18 AC and a specified amount of hit points. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. You also have cover, ha uh, half cover while you're in it. Yeah, so that's a plus two to your deck save. Which is fine because he rolled right. a 16. And so he already succeeded. Six. Uh, as. Uh, so. Hmm? I was, I was going to say uh, the fort takes damage before I do, right? Correct. Okay. Oh, sorry to mention. The fort has already been targeted as another target, it just breaks apart. It has like what, 10 hit points? Uh, yes. Uh, so wait, how much damage would that be? Uh, well, on a success, you take half as much damage, so 10. On a failure, you take 21. So Henry takes 21, you take 10, and uh, Edge, for your natural 20, I'll say you take no damage. As you put your sword forward, and the lightning as it crackles, you redirect it to the ground as you thrust it downwards. <laughs> I like to think he just like, oh, hey, you just recharged my battery for me. Thank mm -hmm. you. Oh, the, the nurse cells? You got the little, ba batteries. little battery symbol just goes. Mm -hmm. So, Henry, 21 no, 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 points. No, 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 uh, and also, do not forget, you did take half as much damage from falling. Oh no, how much? How much is that? You have taken... You only uh, took 12. 12. Okay, so I dropped dead now. Oh, you dropped unconscious? No! Ah, uh, the bolt of lightning... Only, only now it hit. Yep. Uh, the bolt of lightning dro knocks you out. And you fall over. I did what I could. Uh, as the lights are knocked out from you from the ball of lightning, uh, and you collapse the ground. What the fuck are you doing, Zephan? Oh, I know what you're doing. You're using a bonus action to heal yourself. Uh... Oh, that bitch. You got a second win, too? Nah, there's only one person that could use that. Ah, uh, Zephan takes a breath and stabilizes himself slightly. Alright. And uh, he is going to look over at the guards that are exiting the building and say, These are traitors to the Empire's mission. Shut them down. They have, they have harmed an officer. Nay, a member of the House of War. 
Uh, that is his turn. Etch, it's your turn. Okay. Etch is gonna... This is what Etch is gonna do. He's gonna stow their maul, and... And then, like, and... Is gonna... Is gonna grab, uh, Zephin. Gra try to grapple him. Okay, an attempt will be made. Uh, that's an athletics context, right? Uh, context, yes. Uh, he can use either athletics or acrobatics, he will match your athletics. <laughs> 25 is the number to beat. Oh, yeah. Uh, you extend a hand and grab onto him. Grr! And uh, with the other, and now I'm, I'm going to use my action surge. Okay. And I'm going to start punching him. <laughs> okay. All right. This man's doing revenge for me. Okay. One. You're actually punching him? Yeah, I actually took, I took it as my fighting style. All right. Hold on, metallic hand. Unarmed fighting. Okay, that, 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 that one is sick. <laughs> that's what I. That's probably... the fighting style I was gonna use to make like a luchador character. Fuck you, he says justice. <laughs> Fucking dexter. <him. laughs> Hold on, I'm, I gotta make a make an option for a uh, one-handed. Yeah, you, yeah, you're not using a shield right now either, are you? No. <laughs> so those are DA. I'm, I'm holding him. I'm, I've got him grappled. I'm gonna be honest, Edge is literally becoming one of my favorite characters. Wait, hold on. Oh my if god. If you weren't wielding any weapons, and or a shield when you make the... Okay, so I can... So I can use the 1d8. Yeah, you can. Enjoy. Yeah, That's a d8 plus your strength. Fuck him up. You got this. You do have to hit uh, him first. Is this... Is this made at an advantage because he's grappled? Uh... <laughs> Considering you're just I grabbing onto him and are punching him, you know what? I'll grant you advantage on the attack rolls. Go for it, King. Okay. Yeah. Damn. Damn. Boom. And again. Oh. Do it again, you pieces. Jesus, yeah, that hits. Fight club, fight club, fight club. Boom. Boom. You have two more. Surge, you got this! Do it! I already used my oh, action surge right, right. to, to so, do the attacks. Uh, grappling an enemy. To grapple was my first attack. So, 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 to grapple an enemy. Grappling uh, was just one attack. Yes, it replaces yeah. one of your attacks, so you should have at least one more. Okay. My apologies. So, one more. Come on, I set an example. Do it, do it! Jesus, yes, yeah, yes, the yes, hits. Yes, yes. <laughs> you, will, you will answer for your treachery. <laughs> 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 You just smack him with your metal hand. Punch, punch, punch hard in his face. His nose bends and, and as, inwards. And to finish, to cap it off, I'm got, Edge is going to turn to the guards. This man has been scheming with enemies of the em Has been conspiring with enemies of the Empire. We will... We have discovered that... We have Archibald discovered that he, like, your commanding officer... Hey, he's conspiring with dragons. <laughs> Like that, that'll get him. He has, been, he, has, he has been consorting with dragons. Uh, as you say that, from the distance you hear, lower your weapons. I already have. You go first. I've, I already have. I have done as you have asked already, uh, officers. I'm not using any weapons right now. Okay. If Henry had a chip, then as he's like dying, he was like. Ugh. Just be on the stupid bastards. Uh, my fucking spleen. All right. Uh, that oh, was and that's be Yeah, and he cannot move because he's grappled. Victor. Hit them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look over to Edge. Like, are they with us? They, seem, they, they still believe that they're. They. They do not know that they're. That their commander is 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 a traitor. He's he uh. Do you do you, do you in, need to take an internal breath? Uh, I'm trying to think of my next words. Sorry. No, no, my bad. I feel like an ass. Uh, 
All right, cool. Uh, if they if they still think we're traitors, then uh, I'm going to do a funny and just uh, unload the, my entire arm into uh, to the commander uh, with my heavy crossbow. I'm going to fire at I forgot uh, Zephan. Okay. Uh, do it. Uh, no advantage, right? No advantage, no. Uh, do you have the feet to allow right. you to fire in melee range without disadvantage? Yep. Perfect. Go for it. Alright, here's the first one. Here's the second one. A bonus action, gonna fire again. What are these? High rolls! Yes, both of them hit! Uh -huh. really hey, you wanna cool part is? Last session. Go ahead. Hey, you wanna the cool part about this is? It what? has the pin down feature. No fucking way. Okay, so he's not getting the fuck away. That's good. Um, yes. Roll damage. Jesus. Here's the first one. Whoa. Here's the second one. What the fuck? What the fuck you My man just rolled a nine and a ten on the damage dice. What is this? Uh, okay, so you want you want to you want what happens after after seeing uh, a Henry get hit with like a big thing of lightning? I'm just. He's just gonna aim his crossbow and just shoots uh, Zephan in his knees. Thunk, thunk! Uh, both bolts, uh, as they strike into the, <laughs> the armor, they pierce through the weakened parts, and you see them go straight through the leg. Uh, as he is collapsing from the weight, he's being held up by his edge. Uh, but at this point, he's barely conscious. Oh, he's so close. You, you, a, a light slap on the wrist would kill him. You know what? You know, I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like this is uh, Victor right now. In uh, glorious memes. <laughs> oh, I, can't wait, I can't wait for Helios to show up and just be like, Hey, what are you guys doing to- Oh, oh god. My god. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh, god. not again. Henry's <laughs> just dying again. She's like, alright, not first time, baby, let's go. Uh, speaking of that, is that your I turn? Uh, I'm gonna move over. Just, uh, yeah, I'm gonna move over. Okay. I hope he he's, bites, you know. his, uh, his knees are no longer a thing, and I'm assuming he's grappled, he can attack. He's gonna use a reaction to attack you. Does he? Does he? Does he have? Oh. Yeah, the does advantage, he have, Jin. Yep, I know. Me. Swipe. Misses. misses by one. That's so sad. Uh, <laughs> all right. As you move away so from him. An, so wait, he has an item on him that to prove that he's working with the dragons, right? Oh, most definitely. No, that's how the lore goes. Not yeah, there's paperwork or something, but... I will say this. We don't really need to worry so much about him right now, because that last hit point, like... I, I literally... Cannot not kill him with my bonus action on my next turn with heat metal. All right. Have have we considered not killing, not killing him so he can be punished for his crimes? Uh, Victor, is it? Wait, uh, that's not. Vic I Victor, I if I need to, I can. If I need yes. to, I can kill him. But like, Victor, is that your I turn? More on the other Archibald, turn. please. Victor, is that your turn? Uh, yeah, that's the end of my turn. I'm gonna move over and then, yep. Uh, Helios, uh, the vehicle has brought you here. Uh, surveying the scene of what is before me and what has been shouted, Helios is like, well, shit. <laughs> just, just a southern boy <laughs> Just, well, shit. <laughs> just Henry's dying. Isn't this the third time he's died, technically, or like, you know, been Jesus. unconscious? Alright, darn well... too. Oh, God. When's he gonna finally meet that one day? Who knows? No. I'm sure it's like to the guards as he's riding in on this motorcycle that he's not piloting because piloting himself, so he's just like holding his quarter staff. Sure? Now I'm sure this was all just a big misunderstanding and some some wires got crossed. Uh, you hear uh, one, of them, I, one of them? One of them goes. You need to step away. I crossed as our healing word of the day is going to be cast on Henry. <laughs> Uh, cool. What's the what's it's the word? One spell. What's the healing word? Crossed. Crossed. <laughs> the healing word is crossed. Cross. Um, 
crisscross. One plus my spell casting. Hold on, let me let me let me heal you back. Hey, I have, I have, I have a quick question. I have a, I have a quick question. Does Helios just carry a crossword puzzle that decides like the word of the day? Yeah. No, no, she got Scrabble. No, he got Scrabble. Um, you you're, know. you have six hit points. You're no longer dying. Okay. Uh, Henry, Henry, you just you just see uh, Zephan with like two very large bolts through his knees. Then Henry kind of just you know opens it. Uh, oh, sh oh sh All right. What the fucking two flink bats just got two fucking arrows. Uh, you also notice that Zephan's nose is bent inwards. Uh, a couple of his teeth have been knocked out from his mouth, and he's bleeding profusely all over his face. And the same blood is like dribbling from Etch's hand. Whoever did that? Consider, consider that Debbie Ryan Heratux. I have used my bonus action to heal, and I would like to use my action to persuade the guards that this is not what it looks like. <laughs> I know I just got oh, here. Wait, I need this to be. I need to kill him. No, I have to. No, no. Now I'm sure if we all just sit down and talk, we can consider. What what has truly happened? And my comrades, who are fine, upstanding folk, uh, would not have done this without reason. I, I'm looking at it. Listen, I'm not too sure what happened, but I'm sure if cooler heads prevail, we can figure it out and talk it through. Commander Commander Seffen is a traitor. He is. He has been. He and Captain Sabine was it. Have been, con have been conspiring with dragons to, to, to attack the city. Make persuasion check. No. Normal. No, I'm sure that does. No, I figured. <laughs> Watch it be. Uh, it's okay. ten. Ten. But why is there nineteen? I think. Hmm. Well, that... I think I still I think had was... advantage on for my my attack. I think it was. Helios oh, making... this was Helios making the check. Apologies. Yeah, yeah because it is my turn. Sorry. Um. Yeah, the funny can cow I, man, right? Can I guidance myself on this? I allow it. Reaction. Cool. Yeah. But gu yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Guidance has been buffed. I'm good. Let me let me do this first before I roll. Okay. Slay. <laughs> That's a four. Oh no. And. Nineteen. Nineteen. It's not Crap. terrible. Hmm. Yeah. The guardsman looks to you, and he looks back at Zephan, who is like high bleeding, and he. And he looks back at you with a serious expression and says, Stay out of this conflict immediately and stand down if you are affiliated with these people. Oh. Now, I can't really do that. It's part of my job to sort of help root out the corruption of this city. Then stay and back. I appreciate what you're doing, and I appreciate everything, but I'm just going to go wherever this metal contraption takes me what um, the other... I'm, I'm on the like i'm leaving it up to archibald how this thing moves but helios is just like has his quarter staff and is just like leaning on it it's like technically speaking i'm already sitting i've already like i'm not standing um i'm just gonna go wherever this thing takes me i'm not in control the guard yeah, behind I, say, I, I can't actually see it on the map if it's there jen it uh, is it's it beneath is. me uh the guard behind the other, the first speaking guard goes, Wait, you can't control it? Uh, and we move on to Ruler. <laughs> can Henry just like... Boy. Can, I, can Henry chip in for just one second in character? Just... Uh, I do a fucking way! <laughs> Ruler. Um, I was wondering, like... Just from how they're acting, I assume that they don't care that Zephan's a traitor, maybe? Or they just prefer that, no. The guards? They're still trying to attack us. I'm the guards. I'm wondering if they still like, still like they're gonna be aggressive to us. Even uh, if we stand down. They have been yelling at you to stand down. I think they don't believe y'all. I think they see their commander, and because of how soldiers are, they're loyal, yes, to their post, but also to their commander. And if he says that we're liars, like the group is liars, they're gonna believe him over the random folks they see attacking him. Yeah, very so we're kind of at a disadvantage to talking our way out of this. And from a PR perspective, we're kind of fucked in recovering this. Wait, there is one thing I can do to salvage this. Oh uh, no. I, wanna... I have faith. 
I'm gonna step back, and I'm gonna laugh at step back, and bonus action incapacitates the god over here. Okay! <laughs> uh, psychic you had me in the first half. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, that hits! <laughs> uh, DC, I need a wisdom saving throw. Of course, uh, the god is gonna make a wisdom saving throw. Please be low, please be low, god be low. I rolled it in gem mode, I rolled it again. Yeah, oh no, fuck, what was it oh. before? No, it was one more. Oh, no way. Oh, come on, for the funnies. Okay, fuck it. Okay, we, uh, we still have that dead pseudo dragon on the desk. We still have. I like... got it. I got it. I got it. Don't worry. The sky self. I'm gonna make myself look like Zephyr. Grab the contract. <laughs> 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 pseudo dragon. Peek out and be like, you really think I would let myself be beaten down by this group? And I show the contract to the pseudo dragon. This man, man has been masquerading as me. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we. I have so much faith in this plan. I have so much faith in this plan. We need to, like, I don't care. Use a group inspiration. Use a group make... inspiration. Oh yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Okay. Alright, first of all, make okay. make a deception check. Uh what do we need persuasion? Because I'm trying to get them the step. You are lying to them. I am lying to them. <laughs> okay, okay. I am lying to them. <laughs> 19! You are lying to them very well. Um, okay. <laughs> These guards believe you. <laughs> uh, this guy in the back, however, sees you... <laughs> Sees you disguise yourself as his boss and, like, <laughs> looks pissed the fuck off. <laughs> no, no, I I'd like to refer to Glory Seas real quick. Just, just my honest thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna have this. It's like, maybe I'm I don't so want to die here today. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't, you're sending. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just having him there to be a bodyguard for me. Like, if this guy tries to move up on me, this, this laughter to me and protect me. But okay. For right now, for right now, I am, I am Zephyn Pest. <laughs> Although well, your voice certainly is changed. <laughs> Uh, Henry, you stand up, your movement speed reduced by half as you pick yourself up. Well, how much help does Stefan have, just out of morbid curiosity? More than one, less than five. He's mortal. I'm gonna- I'm fucking taking his head with the, my great sword. Don't kill him! Do not kill him! But we gotta kill him! No, we Dude, don't! We can knock him unconscious. Oh my- We what? can do- Not lethal damage! On my hands and knees, kilted. I am pleading to you as another player, as another player, player to player. Ignore the. Do please, please. please. We can't be. Please, we can't be murder hobos. Violence. Please. We can't. You can. I mean, to be fair, hard. this is less. This is less murder hobo territory because, like, he did try to kill us back and has. He, he is a bad yeah, guy. This is like. I know. This isn't some poor farmhand. Mm. Henry. But we. I don't want to get kicked out. I don't Henry. Want to get kicked out of town. Henry. Hell what do yeah. you want to do? Okay. Quick it's your question. turn. I have one action, right? You sure do. I have two actions. Okay. And two attacks. Can I use this and then attack? I have to put in the good shirt. Can I use second win and then, you know, I'm going to take this head. I'm sorry. I'm going to take that fucking head. Uh, sure thing. Roll a d10 and add your fighter level, which I think is five. So roll a d10 plus five. Roll a d10 plus five. What? Holy shit! Yeah, love to see it. God damn. Just take a deep breath, recover. All right. Now, you old fucking shit. I'ma kill you. <laughs> cool. <laughs> that misses. Fuck. You have one more. Can attack. I do one more time? Oh yeah, I have two attacks. <laughs> that hits. Uh, Roll the <laughs> Fucking dead he is! Could you imagine like I'll kill you! <laughs> He's like, Fuck! <laughs> Tilted! Dude, your blade, you take your great sword with both hands, and you run it through Zephyr's torso from the back, the blade bursting from his front. <laughs> 
his eyes. Open wide uh, as you. Uh, as his breath escapes him, the fire engulfs his body, and he is dead. Boy, Henry said, like, points his sword at the body, just says, You don't, you don't fuck with a mercenary! You hear me? You dead fuck! You don't play these games with me! Yeah, this is just staring at you. You don't fuck with the guard! The ancestral guard! He's just staring at you. He's staring at His blood... Can I turn to the other guards real fast? Uh-huh. As he, as you take... As you basically put I, your foot on the back. I kind of point the sword a little weakly, but kind of, you know, it's bloody now. And Henry you kind of goes, You want me fucking next? Because I swear to God, this day has chopped all the others in terms of being shit. That's I will not have bro. more. That's just going to kind of say, Please, Henry, calm yourself. <laughs> I'll mm. take a rest. So, a couple of things happen next. Yeah, Archibald's gonna like turn to Ruler and be like, "Shit, I thought you had emotional baggage." Oh we are the guards. We're dashing. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, as from the top of the building, uh, multiple guards are dashing in, uh, and this guy goes uh, on the top. This, uh, this guy in the back goes. Brothers of War! That one over there is an imposter! I saw I saw her using magic to impersonate our commander! Uh, and this guy is gonna move forward and is going to do the best thing he can against the demon. Make two attacks. Smack smack. In no fucking way. I would say it's like are are they because they didn't see the transformation, are they inclined to dis like to disbelieve him you don't due know. to the way disguise self works you don't know uh that is going to be four damage against the demon yep uh and uh i believe your demon as a laughter demon does he have anything special about it he doesn't uh he doesn't know he's just very beefy yeah yep yep uh and the guards uh well, this is the dumb part. The guards down at the door, uh, they exit first of all. Uh, uh, as they're looking up at Zeph and yelling at them, they go, Oh, all right then, sir. And they stole their weapons. What? <laughs> An imposter has been slain. We will take them in. And they're going to continue their movement. Uh, ten. No, they are contracted. They are, they are contracted under my name. Oh. I'll leave them be. Um. That is a good. They're here to help. They are. They are here, investigating with Grizz that... against these imposters. They are helpful. So, uh, Commander, isn't that against procedure? I can explain at a later time. For right now, we need to handle the situation. Calm down. Uh, make a persuasion or intimidation check. Persuasion or intimidation? With advantage, because these guys are fooled. 17. Oh, you have advantage. Oh my god, please tell me that works. Uh, if it doesn't work, I will use... Uh, I, I, I will think use he said you had advantage. It. I advantage? Yes. Oh, advantage. I think said that, yeah. 21. Very good. Uh, that was a difficult check of DC 20 because normally their commander is way different in the way you're acting. But right now, they accept your word. Very well, commander. Should we I'm return? So fucking lucky. <laughs> should we return to our posts? What did he say? Should we return to our posts? Mm -hmm. uh, Very well. I assume, dude. Are these guys convinced? At least these four here? Uh, these guys in the back? You don't know, because you're not talking to them. Alright, alright. Very well, we will return to our post. Hop, 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 hop. Alright, that's the dumb part out of the way. Archibald. Oh, well. We should leave. I want to... 
Uh, before I do anything else, I would like to point uh, at the one whose face I memorized. This guy. And tell the other four guards in there, he was working with the imposter. It's like, he's in on it. He's trying to turn you against it. They've been, su they've been attempting to supply arms and, uh, it's like to the enemy and are undermining, undermining the town and the empire at large. Make a persuasion check. Yeah, that is why there's a demon in my office. Slay it. Oh, at that advantage. Nice. <laughs> I definitely <laughs> need that. I got you, Chief. I got you. <laughs> oh, that twenty. Let's go. That is beautiful. <laughs> the, what the fuck? No fucking way. Ah, uh, if that's the I case. My, my bro, my homie. I got you. Uh, I'm gonna take down this initiative because of what happens next. Two, as and two ruler, uh, as the guard goes, what? No! And the other guards surround him and your demon, and they just take out their maces and they beat the shit out of both. Poof, 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 poof. Uh, Stop resisting. Ruthlessly. <laughs> I love how he leaves. He's like, no, we should leave him alive. He's just like, you know, and stuff like that. We might get killed. Meanwhile, the town guard just like, he's a trick. Let's fucking kill this dude! <laughs> Stop assisting! Stop! He's with the fuck! Uh, and then they turn their attention to the demon. Uh, ruler, is it fighting back? It is told to fight back. It is. Its its directive is to protect me. So yes, it is fighting back. Uh, what? Mhm. Mm but I assume it's just going to die by getting four guarded. Uh, I'll say. One of the guards is rendered by the demon's shock before the rest uh, put it down, sending it back where it came from. It cackles all the way through the fight. Uh, blood and demon ichor is spilled across the floor of the office as the guardsmen look back at you. The threat has been neutralized! Good job, my men. Anyways, can you get our guest up here? Guest? I will look down to the party, just kind of gesture in a really cool, awesome Zephyr way, with my smirk on my face. Yes. The ones who have brought uh, to my attention the traitors in this town. Oh! Of course, Commander. And, uh... Archibald will, uh, chime in. And be like, ah! And it should be noted, this should be kept between us. This gets- knowledge of this gets to no one else. Make Every sure that- right, Make sure word of anything that has happened here does not reach others. There are other traitors within our- within the city walls. And bring the corpse of the traitor to me. I need to see Wait. exactly what he used to- Anyway, me. I have an idea. I can chip in on this. Have you- <laughs> have you not done enough? No, no. <laughs> I got it. Listen, hear me out. Hear me out. I take his fucking head. You know, I get in there with my shorts, you know, ch you know, chopped it up a little bit, turns it the head, you know, nice and clean. Okay. Look, head. running him through is one thing. This is like bordering on like. This is. This, this is mercenary shit. This is going shit. into territory this where it's not. That's not mercenary need... stuff. No. That's like. A moment. They're a traitor. A moment. No. So, Henry, you take your greatsword. And you bring it down on the tiefling's head. Uh, and you cut off his neck, separating body from torso. And you put in your inventory the head of Zephan Pastol. Please. Yes. Oh, God. Wondrous. I kind of look, <clears throat> look back up to Ruler, who's, you know, who's Zephan's like, I'm, I'll, I'll be back. Uh, I got the body of the traitor right here. Bring it up to my office. Like drag the body with me, so I head towards right. that same entrance. I'll just do I you a then, the favor. There I, we go. I will then sit in my chair. Oh no way! I was about to say I was about to toss the head over to the hell, the hell is like. All right, hold this. Yeah. While while we're waiting for them to like drag the body up, Archibald's gonna be like, "Hey, look, like, just while you're doing this, and you got his handwriting and stuff, you mind signing off on this merchant, like on this like." Uh, to certify me as a town mer merchant? Yeah, you got it. Oh, let's see we cheese this. So you are now in Zephan's office. I am Zephan. You are Zephan. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> you are Zephan for the next, like, 50 Hour. minutes. 
or so. Or... <laughs> An hour! Damn, out we can get away so much! So! Out of, out, of, out, of character, out of character, I can imagine rulers like, look at me, in the eyes. I'm the Zephan, I am the Zephan now. Uh, I'm imagining Ooh. you're also looking over Zephan's fucking corpse. Yes, we, I, we, we, we have brought him here for that reason. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. What's he got on? Oh him? My God. Henry's, Henry's still holding on to it, by the way. I can't believe this fucking works. I. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. All right, <clears throat> Stefan. What do we do with the fucking body? Search it, of course. Okay, let me search it. Uh huh. Well, first of all, Zephan uh, has a very special weapon. Uh, the Cobalt Star. Oh no. Oh yeah. By the way, I um. I have at this point dropped concentration what? on heat metal, so no one can get burned. <laughs> Important. You reach to the pocket. <laughs> Alright, I place like the mace on the table there. It's like, alright. Mace. What else? Uh, his shield is of excellent craftsmanship. Keen quality to plush one. Also, can I like holy bot like holy water spray bottle the icker from the demon? Yes, of course you can. Good. Hmm. Uh, actually, uh, hey, Ruler, do you mind, uh, do you mind it scooping is... some of that up for me? No. You know, right. It's like, I, I was reading about some, uh, potential uses, uh, specifically with machinery. I, no, that is not a good idea. You can hear she's talking, she's trying to use Zephan's voice right now, even though it's not that good. <laughs> Like, Archibald's like, all right, I'll have to get my own from somewhere. Uh, so how does Zephan sit in his chair, by the way? Uh, usually, he's very formal about it. Um, he usually sits in, on a diagonal position. Uh, some t most of the time, he's smiling. All right. Oh, well, gosh. I found the shield. Put down the table. I got two potions here of healing. I'm taking one. For obvious reasons. No. I swear to god I need this. No. No, you don't need shit. Do you still you have that? Killed the man. I did it in self-defense. He was on the ground. You had been healed. Well, he was not done. Not entirely entire entire true. I had him I had him I was holding him. He okay, was pinned. also where it is chopping his the head off of a corpse factor into that. <laughs> Listen, it's a luster. Hey, no, let me just, uh, <clears throat> generous. Can I just like slide all that money into my pocket, by the way? Absolutely. In not. front of everyone. I slide a hand. Sure. Make a um, make a sleight of hand or stealth check against everyone's passive perception. Disadvantage, because I'm staring at you. <laughs> oh my god. No, no, no. Normal. Still... It's normal. If it works. Oh, cool. No. So as as you know, sorry, one moment. As you're talking, uh, specifically Archibald, as you were talking like about the Iker, um, all of you hear wait. the jingle of coins as you notice Henry is digging into <laughs> Zephan's pockets. Henry, what all right, all right. You know, what, what? What? You know what? I'm gonna look at Henry as he does it. I'm gonna, with the most deadpan face. I'm gonna pull out my nice looking. Pan pipes and use both of my attack actions to cast vicious mockery on him. Okay, wait, damn! Can we not do that, please? Okay, so you know what? Said, the... Archibald's just gonna take that He's opportunity gonna... to be like, ha, and like jump down onto uh, onto Henry, and just kind of like climb, climb around, and just like be like, hey, what you got here? Oh, <laughs> well, we did all quote unquote <laughs> sign a contract, right? So I was just checking if he had our payment. Cause God I would damn it, I want I think the money. It would be more prudent of us to leave his personal affects alone before we, well, we we are still invest continuing this investigation. Well, an advance payment then. Are you right? Well, no. I mean, I'm all for. I mean, this dude sucked. Like, I'm all for taking his stuff, but like, uh, were you, you planning on? Were you planning on, uh, you know, how about we put all that out onto the desk so we can, you know, all have a look-see. All you're right. Not, you're not working alone. You're working in a team. You can't just do stupid shit like this. Well, 
You Unless can't interrogate a goddamn corpse. I don't think what I was were you saying? Enough. What were you talking about? What was going well, on? I mean, we could. Um, Does anyone else speak with dead? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I'm, I'm about to bring back that you do that. <laughs> Question Does the head have to be attached for that to work? <laughs> okay, wait. You? You can't just do whatever the fuck you want anymore. You know that, right? You're working with a team of people who are, and we have to work together. We have to continue to work together. And if you're just going to kill as a means to solve every goddamn problem, I That's a bit much. Listen, I got a contract that was protecting y'all, and that man was gonna either snitch on us the whole city, right, and get us all killed, or I take his fucking a clean off and he's a permanent problem gun. But he's not. Cause now we don't know any of his plans, we don't know where he was going, who he was talking to, if he Listen, has to report it to people. Told. I- we, we, that is not- that is not entirely true. Before- before he tried to make his escape, we did- we did learn some very- Pertinent information. Yeah, okay. honestly, he about, kind of made his Sabine's escape whereabouts. because we caught him on like everything. <laughs> it's like you can ruler can fill you in on that, but yeah, no, like we 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 got him. <laughs> like yeah. we got, we know everything. The <laughs> That's why I interrogate him. I just stood and did my job. People have secrets. Yeah, we know where they meet up in the woods. Okay, like, do you know how many guards there are? are? It's like foxes each. Well. Do you know what no, the code word is? If there's a code word, do you know what the shift change is? Like, I ain't the brightest bulb in the shed, but this was a half-baked idea. I don't think, but you didn't send the contract I wanted. I've got a pl I've got an idea. What's the idea, little thing? We take out the other known traitors that, that we know were on his team. And then afterwards, Zeppin, so kind of, and he kind of turns and gestures towards ruler. Like Zeppin, with like air quotation marks, mm -hmm. has a sad accident. We well, during the did. tussle. It's like well during the tussle with said Pete. Well, and he's like, and we have, and he gestures towards the dead body, the perfect corpse. To sell the yeah, this stars. is just <laughs> pinching the bridge of his nose. So we've only got to keep this up till we take care of Aldrox and establish that Your Sabine solution? is also in on it, and so that keeps her out of the city. And by takeout, do you mean kill or do you mean bring to be judged? Archibald's gonna look at Helix and be like, "Do you, you know, you remember that, you remember that guy Aldrax?" Yeah, I remember talking to him. Do you think he's gonna come quietly? I think we should give him the opportunity to confess. You're... If he's involved in it. Like, yes, we did. Not that. everybody. We basically give Her... Zephyr the chance to confess My and time... he jumped out a window. My time and you My... killed him for it? Might I, make... I make a suggestion? What is it? Uh, Ruler... Ruler has proven that she has the ability to impersonate uh, mm -hmm. the cat which is mighty the impressive, commander I the commander say. quite quite uncannily perhaps we could use his known connections with conspiratorial connections with captain sabine and this aldrax fellow to to our advantage hmm. I mean, way i fine. see it and the way but i could put it there you go first sax if, if ruler says the wrong thing or doesn't speak just how Zephyr would speak, or doesn't know a piece of information, we're gonna get our heads cut off. Well, Everybody's in danger. Just, I'm gonna very it. quickly go take care of Aldrox, and then Zephyr, in air quotations and points to Ruler, has a sad, unfortunate accident, and he points at the body and goes, and then we go from there. Well then. And no if Aldrox talk. isn't actually involved? Oh, we know Aldrox is involved. My and if he was simply convinced, if he doesn't know actually anything about the dragons? He he is actively importing weapons and arming the Kobold 
militia and the uh, kind of, like dragon. Anybody can put a name on a piece of paper. Okay, we can figure that out as we uh. So we're not I... gonna kill him, right? Can I can I interject, please? Yes. Uh, yes. Ruler will push over the transcripts that she has, so Helias, Helias can read it. If you want to explain that, Jen, in more detail. Of course. Uh, let me write it quickly on the chat. Ah. Helis is just like absolutely perplexed that murder was the first thing everybody thought to do. Wow. Like that, it never, it never occurs thing. to him. By the, by the way, Ruler does look very uncomfortable. Sefin looks really uncomfortable at this situation here. Like extremely uncomfortable. Henry's still Arch just holding on to that pouch of coins. She's like, mmm. I'll say Archibald will like kind of like crawl over and like up onto Helios' shoulder and just be like, no, we, we did give him like a lot of opportunities to confess. Like he jumped out the window to try to run away and alert his allies. But he was on the ground. He was already got when I got here. Yeah, he did not totally, look well. Like, totally understand. I don't think we needed to really shove a sword through him. I was just gonna, I was honestly gonna knock him unconscious. But that's definitely something we'll have to deal with. It's like, and he's gonna be, and as he says, it's like, that's gonna be something we'll have to discuss and deal with. And he's gonna kind of like put a hand up and gesture towards Henry. It's like, yeah. He, like, he's got some stuff going on. I don't know if you saw the like saw that out there, but like he's got Henry. Oh, uh, what is it, Edge? Henry, in the future I might suggest using such a I might suggest against using such excessive force. Mm. I had I already had I already had uh, the, the commander in captured. Wow. And he was and he was and he was I could have subdued him without killing him. Well, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, All right? You know, Henry just kind of brings up the head from his little sack. It's like, oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah, at least on a crook, or... at least he ain't gonna be a problem anymore, right? He may have been close to dude by yet, but he could have kept shouting on about us being traitors. So he's no longer with us. I put him back in like the sack. Now, yeah. about and... the money. You're not getting paid. Yeah, but, like, yeah, you, he it's like our, it's like we'll fucking it's like we'll take it from his hand, toss it onto the thing. We will disperse this as we like when we get there. And he's gonna hop over and be like, "Hey, Etch, yes, I see your mace real quick." Uh, my weapon? Yeah. Uh, you got a mace, don't you? Well, it's actually it's a maul. It's a two-handed weapon. A maul? Gotcha. Okay. Uh, Etch will will strap them, unstrap them all from their back and kind of set it down on the desk with a heavy clunk. Yeah, he's like, hmm. Okay. And he's gonna, like, compare it to the, like, the Kerbalt Star and just see it's like, what part of this seems to be holding the magic? Like, is it, like, the, the top part? I, I think this is a question to the, the, the DM. Yeah, Jen. Yeah, like, letter, though. Mm -hmm. does it look like in the Kerbalt Star is like the magic centered around like the top blue like mi like spike part? Oh, definitely. Yes. So, yeah. would it be possible for me to like remove that and attack and like basically swap that out to put it on top of his uh, maul? Fun. To basically, give it the D6 lightning and the uh, once a day thing. Uh, it would be very dangerous. And risky. You are attempting. Here's you're, the thing. You're, you're thinking if I, of modifying my weapon. Yes. Uh, so here's the thing. If a weapon that you find of magical item variety has the any clause, you choose what form that weapon takes. Otherwise, it has the the form it, that it normally has. I do allow it's so for. Hard. Hmm? Jen, it's so hard to hear you. Uh, yeah. Once yeah, again. Exactly. But Sorry. you're basically saying is like when he, when he attunes to it, it just takes on, he can just make it a mall anyway. No, that's not what I am saying. I am saying this will require a very dangerous check. Which, if you fuck up, uh, here's the thing. If you fail the check, the magic item is destroyed. If you fail the check by five or more, the magic item is destroyed, and a mishap occurs. 
Okay. You cut out, so it's if you fail by how much or more? By five. Five or more? Five or more. Okay. Uh, I will, like, Archibald will be like, okay, I, I could probably do something with that if we don't have any other use for it. And he'll, uh, like, it's like, kind of like, he'll, like, eh, uh, and, like, try to pick them all up and, like, hand it back to you, but, like, okay, uh. Etch will just pick it up. Mm-hmm. Now, back to the matter at hand. Ruler just has something to say real fast. No, 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 it's fine. You guys can finish. I'll, I'll wait till you guys are done. Uh, Etch? What is it? Yes? Oh, never mind. I think they are done. I think they wrapped up. Oh, well, okay. I, yeah, actually, right. no way. I did notice this. Can I quickly take one potion of me and drink it? No. Oh my god. I just want to drink it. We made you put everything on the table because you were misbehaving. Ah! Uh, uh, fine! So, uh, are you still holding the letter or would you have, like, set it back down at this point? I would have placed it back down on the table. Ah, uh, the letter is not in no, his hands. It, the letter is on Ruler's hands. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, someone else's really hand. Well. I kind of thought, mm, yes. Well, in that case. Mm. Basically, because if you had set, if you've set it back down by now, like Archibald would be like back over here, just like actually wait, you since you mentioned you, what about that whole merchant contract thing you mentioned a while back? You still wanted me to sign that thing with the? You just kind of just grabs the corpse's like arm, you, you know. Oh, so God, as enough of this, as that ruler. happens, ruler, yeah. Um, do we still have the guards' corpse in here? Could I, have, could I have asked him, like, we need to inspect it because this guy was an imposter as well. But I've asked him to let it stay in here. Oh. I already made, like, like multiple 20 checks. Hey, you got another let me, corpse? Uh, let, me, let me have the guard's corpse. Again. One moment. One moment. Hey, let me drag you back out. Oh, hi, I... hi, everybody. Yeah, listen, What's you... going on? <laughs> <laughs> really, just because I never... Uh, I don't know if you ever responded, but, like... Did you ever respond to uh, him asking you about like signing a fucking merchant form for him no. while you're dressed up as Zephyr? I have. I have not been allowed to say a word in edgewise for the last little bit, so I've just been waiting. Oh, I mean, because I asked bef uh, before like everybody came back up is why I just didn't, was wasn't sure if I didn't hear you respond or not. Uh, ruler has ruler would not respond readily. No, she she's not sure. She's been trying to avoid answering the question. All right, just checking to make sure I didn't miss anything. All right. I hey, can I ask you a a, a logistics question, Jen? Yes. You can't. People can't see into the ethereal plane, right? But the ethereal plane is just like you know, like just just like in our world, right? In your the, game. The ethereal plane exists. Yes. All right. But like, I would I would I know anything about it at all? Like, would I know like someone could just go into the ether play and they'd still be walking in the world as they are now? I'm the not sure if this is like a different homebrew thing that you've added, but like that's usually how the ether plane is. Well, so, yeah, isn't, doesn't it work kind of like Minecraft, like like Nether World or something like that? Where oh, you like... mean the Feywild? No, no, e F ether the plane. ethereal. Plane. Yeah, the ethereal. The ethereal so, plane. so the ethereal plane is the fugue plane. It's basically the same as your world. Devoid of color, and where the souls of the dead linger. Um, I mean, it is a very powerful magic that allows people to walk into it. Um, most people are not supposed to be there. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, huh. Ruler will look around the party. Who wants to grab Grizz? Grizz. Um, Jawal will be like immediately like. Ha! And put his hand up. All right. Uh, I'm gonna get up, walk over, and I'm going to use the summoning ritual, uh, the call of service ritual thingy on the on the guard's corpse. Yeah. As she's doing that, you'll see Archibald will just go to the window and just use his climb speed to scramble like fucking like. Wait! 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 wait. No! 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 I have a, I have a, I have something you could take to go over there. Oh, okay. Alright, all the service feature, uh, third level spell slot being used, uh, do you want to pull it out, or did you, did you want to do the cool animation thingy? Uh, cool, as you, uh, 
<laughs> you hold over your hold your what is your tool to uh my 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 tool are my are my snake tattoos that could just wrap around the corpse of the guy and just kind of you know like swallow him whole into the abyss yes good 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 <laughs> All right, so and i'll some I'll summon a nightmare, if you'd please. It's also a large creature as well. Uh-huh. So, as the guard's corpse dissipates... I'll step back. There you go. Uh-huh. Uh, it dissolves into a puddle of ichor, and from it, the head of a horse-like entity emerges before the rest of it... <laughs> ...claws its way out. Oh, that's that's fucking fucking I love it. <laughs> oh. I will I will pet the horse. <laughs> Don't tell me you're doing this all just to pet it. You're no. Right. I am how not as that... insensitive as you are about oh. these things. I'm curious, how is Helios, Helios. in this moment? <laughs> oh, Helios smiles a little bit at what Ruler said. Listen, it's just a horse. It's just a big old fucked up horse. I yeah, love it. It's I... like conflicting feelings because it's like oh horse i like horses but like weird demon horse <laughs> well he's got no problem with demons right That's it. One he has problems with people just straight up murdering a guy but demons are whatever they just kind of show right. up archibald do you want to ride the horse in the ether plane to go grab grids for us <laughs> he's gonna look at we're gonna be like Oh yeah! Oh hell yeah! <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll have the nightmare use this ability. Uh huh. Also, am I misremembering, or maybe it's Pathfinder? But like, isn't it like a thing where like when you move in the ethereal plane, you can, you can like move longer distances for like less movement? Oh, don't worry. The nightmare has a ninety foot fly speed. You'll be fine. <laughs> like Minecraft right? Nether portal yeah, stuff. Yeah, just 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 go grab Grizz real quick and then come back. Don't worry. That's We're just I. Oh shit, I feel like the old Grizz. So, yep. as you go and and uh, grab onto horse, uh, first of all, both of you disappear from this world. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> I'm not Bye -bye. just from what just happened there. Yeah, that's actually for the best. But... I can describe a little bit of how oh, the fuel plane it. looks, I suppose, as Archibald is in it. Right. You find yourself in the same office, except you cannot see your companions anymore. Where they stood, little globules of light replaced their presence. Vague forms of life. What about rulers? Does hers look weird? Oh, hers? Oh, that's a very good point. Isn't it just? Oh, isn't it just? Oh, isn't it just? Uh, okay. <clears throat> You look over, first of all, uh, at, let's start with the least weird, Etch. You look over where Etch stood, Archibald, and you would see his soul looks like it is encased in a metal, like, suit. It's the only humanoid shape you can see clearly within this uh, fugue plane. Almost as if his entire soul is perfectly cut into every bit of his body. Uh, now for the weird part. You look over where Ruler stood, and... <laughs> it's like a vortex. What you see is a red dot surrounded by a vortex of clawing, immaterial hands that try to hold onto it. Are these like clawed hands or like human hands? Ethereal hands. They have no distinction. They look vaguely humanoid-ish. Like, oh, it's fucked up. <laughs> all, uh, all of them are can just I look clinging. At, you said, uh, uh, fucking, what's his name? His spirit is just there, right? Yep. Oh god, my does he so seem? Weird. Oh shit! Does he seem like present? Uh. Whose spirit? Uh. Wait, who who are you talking? 
Who are Sorry, you? I, I missed. I think I misheard. You, you cut out a little bit for me. Oh, whose spirit are you referring to? Uh, can you just recap who was here? Because like I think it was on my end. I think that it cut out. Oh, you were looking at where Ruler's uh, soul was, and you just saw that. Uh, there was also another person here. You see Zephan. Okay, yeah, so Zephan is here. Uh, question. If I pull that Jade Sphere out, does it look any different? You pull out the Jade Sphere, and it looks exactly the same as it looked in the normal world. Yeah. Ah, okay, worth the shot. Or, actually, and he'll, like, put his... He'll kind of put his face up against it. He's like, hello. It starts, in there? It slowly starts to glow. You feel a connection starts to form. Ah? It will take an hour for this connection to be established, as if you were attuning to a magical item. Oh, yeah, he's like, oh, okay, well, and he'll put it back away. Uh, and does Zephan look like he's there, like mentally? Zephan looks as if he's staring at something in the distance. Do you follow his gaze? I, I guess, yeah, I'll look to see. It's like, is there, like, a bright fucking light? There is. Somewhere far away looks like a beacon. A light that cuts through the horizon. Can I tell which direction it is? Hmm. It would be to the west. No? No, east. East of where you are. East. Okay, I would like to make note of that. Uh... And I go, eh, 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 eh. hold on, <laughs> before you get going anywhere, it's like, it's like, are you, can you talk? And he'll kind of wave his hands to try to get his attention. His eyes look blank as he stares back at you. His face is ruined and he has a big gaping wound in his chest as if a sword had ran him through. You also notice his neck is perfectly detached in such a way to allow his head to float above his torso. My apology, I wonder who I, did that. <laughs> I just just a hypothetical, just a hypo. Sorry, good try. So, uh, fuck. Go for it. Okay, my bad. Um, hypothetical question: If if he has a wound in his chest, does he have like two? Somewhat large holes through his knees. Indeed, if that's the case as well. And he's not standing. Right, he's not standing. He's floating. Oh, I thought he was in a wheelchair. <laughs> no, he's it, 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 just a ghost. Uh, yeah. So it doesn't seem like he's responsive at all. Basically, just brain dead. He stares at you lifelessly. I like kind of lean to one side and then the other. Does his gaze follow? He does. It's like, oh, okay, so he's... He's I a ghost, there. dude. He's a ghost. You're seeing his ghost. Yeah, I know, it's like, hmm. It's like... Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I'll... And, and yeah, I'll you can do better up. than that. <laughs> and I'll go and be like, don't go anywhere. And I'll go and I'll, I'll go to attempt to pick up uh, Grizz. All right, and you will do that. You will fly out to go find your bear. Yeah, I can just pass through objects, right? Indeed. You float through. Yeah. He he's just gonna be able to go pick him up in like like a hot second and then come back, and then we can actually plan with them what we're gonna do with Grizz with us. Very well. We'll say for the passage of time that indeed. Uh, this occurs. I, I would like to say that Archibald on the way over does kind of fluff up his fur to get it to kind of like blow in the wind. Oh, Lord. Okay. And is like, oh, when, he, when he reappears from the ethereal plane uh, inside of uh, Grizz's office, I'm assuming he's sitting at his desk. On the horse, on the horse. Oh, no. Yeah, he reappears on the horse. <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh my god! And, uh -huh. Like, fur flowing. <laughs> and just goes... It's like... It's like, 
we have need of you. <laughs> and he kind of strikes a pose while standing on the back with like a hand leaning against the back of the nightmare's neck. God, he's trying to hit that Rizzler sub path. Damn. Damn. Uh, as you extend the hand, Cheesy. Grizz Deadpan looks towards you. He's wearing his little reading glasses and he takes them off and he puts them down on, on the desk. Oh. Very well done. He stands up, gets the horse, gets on the horse. Yeah. And uh, just before taking off to uh, head back, Archibald's gonna be like, I'm gonna tell you, you look hella cute when you read. And oh, turns back and <laughs> takes off backwards. Uh, like back to the to the spot. Okay, you fly Meanwhile. backwards. Helios is giving- I'm not gonna roleplay this out, but imagine Helios has everybody sat down and is giving a lecture on why murder is bad. And everybody has to sit down and be quiet while Helios has the talking quarter staff. And that's what they come back to. Oh my god. Is very, Etch is very attentive to this- to this whole lecture. <laughs> yes, uh, I see. Henry's, like, just sitting Henry's, just, Henry's just taking a fat nap while this is going, just saying. No, he gets yeah. whacked every time he starts to zone off. God. Uh, Zephyr's just sitting down in the chair, face palming during this entire thing, listening intently, but just really done for right now. <laughs> I, 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 I need the lion's chair here. Wait, Soft, wait, wait. I need you to do something for me. Yeah, what's up? I need you to go in your character sheet and rename your quarter staff the staff of listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got it. Wait, right how, does, how does Grizz react to just being, being, like, being. Uh, ridden, uh, having ridden on a nightmare horse creature, like, now popping out of the ethereal plane, with the listening party happening, and just Zephyr on his chair, just face palming while staring at this. Alright. Because he doesn't uh, know I'm real there. And also the decapitated Captain Commander Zephyr. Right so, yeah, that's gonna be the bigger <laughs> one. Like, I, get, I get the sneaking suspicion from, like, some context clues that, like, the reason Grizz just doesn't react so much is, I think Grizz is an ex-adventurer. <laughs> So as I, just, I need it. Yeah. Oh, so to answer, the entire time you're in the ethereal plane, he does hold tight onto both the horse and the opossum. And as you arrive in the office, he steps down I quickly. Map, I need a map change. I need to see this in first person. <laughs> I'm afraid not. You gotta see it back. Oh. I'm afraid not. However, what a shame. as he steps down into the office, as your horse reappears with an A. Takes a deep breath, collects himself, and looks around with a very cursory glance, and his eyes fall on the broken window. The <sighs> Harry Henry on uh, the ground as uh, Helios is sort of like about to strike him with the stick. Uh, <laughs> Etch, who is probably writing notes at this point, and Victor, who is well, no. Vic 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 Listen, Victor, Victor, um... Victor doesn't have to listen. Victor can do nope. whatever he wants. Victor and Ruler, and even kind of Edge, they are allowed to not pay attention to this. Um, no, I'm joining. I'm joining in on this as well. Victor, his hand, his hand is swapped oh. out at the moment. He has a very large spoon. <laughs> Remember, oh, he, he, has, he, has, he, has, he has his utensil hand currently equipped. He's a fucking utensil hand? Now this is the lore I want to know. Yeah, I was gonna say a Swiss Army fucking hand. Yes, actually, yes, he does have that. I love that. Actually. And uh, his eyes fall on Zephyr, and he looks a bit perplexed. It is good to see you again, Riz. And I say in Zephyr's voice the best I can. Oh, I... Well, it is good to see you too, Zephyr. And good to know I... that my suspicions were inaccurate. No, they were they were right. I apologize. It is difficult to explain, but uh, oh. do not mind me being Zephyr right now. It oh. is complicated. Oh, I understand. Yeah, you know, ruler the pale one. Yes, of course. Yeah, it's her. We convinced the guards that she is Zephyr. No, I convinced the guards that I was Zephyr. Eh, potato, yeah. potato. I see. It is. I would put down the transcripts for him, the statuette of what's outside, and the and the closed letter that is now opened. Uh, he takes we have all it. the evidence. We have all the evidence that we need. Not, but Sabine though is a bit of a worry because uh, we don't have any 
concrete stuff besides what I saw, but we know for sure that each one of them has at least done something. Hmm. So it went all the way up to the top, then. It did. Hmm. Troublesome. Very troublesome. I will need to contact the mayor. This is damning evidence. I know a secret way to get into the mayor's house. That is good. Though uh, I think we should stop Alderic first, right? Or should we go to the mayor first? I will head to the mayor's office. Point to the to the map where you saw the the entrance. He's going to take out his own map. Mm -hmm. I will go. I will do so for him. I will go inspect, and well, it's been a while since I have been on active duty in this way, but I still believe I should be able to pass without being seen. Mm -hmm. You should use the element of surprise to get onto, well, Altruk then, if he is aligned with our enemies, he needs to be dealt with. Do you think it'd be better if we did it and tried to kill him through various means, or do you think that I should masquerade as Zephyr again and show the transcripts and all this other stuff as a investigation for the court? Well, if I... Well, I imagine it might not be necessary. It would be good if he was apprehended, considering you have already apprehended Zephyr and he's behind bars. If he does die... I stare at Riz what? when he says that. There and is then the... I look at the dead body with that head. <laughs> oh, you and left the body. Oh, the body is still on the office. Never mind. Yes. Oh, the... yes. Never mind. And then I look at Henry, and then I look at the body, and then I look at Riz, and then I look at Henry, and then I look at Riz, and I look at the body, and I look... <laughs> repeat. Henry just taps his no fingers like... No, back to me. No, back to me. <laughs> mm. Never mind. It would be good if you could uh, other... It would be good if you could apprehend him alive. He could be useful. Uh, we do need to know where they are meeting. Uh give me a second. Fox, can you give me some information? What's up? What happened to you? So, a mysterious five pointed, uh, five pointed leaf plant. Hey, listen, listen, I think you said. I think you summoned the wrong fox. This isn't oh. the fox. Do you, you, you just, do you just summon him? Having a, having a bud watching the game. <laughs> do you just summon him or are you talking to him? Uh, I'm talking to him. I'm like, hey, how's it going outside? You're still looking at Sabine, right? It oh. is. How is what she's doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, so. Uh -oh. You know how I'm not really from this plane, right? I am aware of that. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm like from hell. That's where I spend most yes. of my days in. Um, yes. So I was keeping an eye out, you know, skulking about. And as I was sneaking behind Sabine as she was moving, I accidentally... Uh, I am still sitting on it. I'm kind of sitting on this big yellow mushroom, and I'll be very honest with you. I'm resistant to most poisons, but this is doing something. Are you... Where are you right now? I'm like on a mushroom. Are you still in the material plane? Oh, are you I... still with Sabine? Uh, I can't see her anywhere. She must be nearby. It's a big forest. I'm gonna look through his eyes. <laughs> What's going on? He's staring at the sky. He is like x shape down onto a big mushroom. A big poisonous mushroom. Oh! I'm gonna say, while she's looking through his eyes, does the world seem to be oh. different colors and swirling? <laughs> the sky is like, it's so quickly moving. The clouds are just like, whoa, they are coming in and out and in and out. Um, how, is this, does this look like it, does this still look like it's the forest or does it look diff completely different? It's still in the forest, yes. He's still in the forest. Uh, you're pretty sure he's not poisoned. Uh, he's just tripping. Fox, what? Why are you? Why are you doing this? I. I mean, I think she's nearby. Let me check. And as he gets up, immediately all those effects end. As he goes, whoa, that was sobering. 
I'm glad to hear that you're okay now. All right, let's see. Uh, uh, oh, I can see something in the distance, and through his eyes, uh, you see a distant fire. Mm-hmm. And like a he... forest fire or like a campfire? Like a campfire. There's uh, many palisades have been set aside and a couple of tents as a bunch of kobolds are moving around. All right, can I can I ask him to fly into the air and look to the to look to the city to see where he is and try to like like circle on the map where where he is right now? Oh sure sure, and he flies up. <laughs> okay, we're oh we're not that far. You look uh, at the distance and you see the settlement. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. And uh, using him, you can sort of scribe his position. Can you give me a quick right. intelligence check? Intelligence check. Uh, can I can I ask can I ask for the lovely guidance from my from 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 my sorcerer, please? Because I know I'm gonna be trajectorying this. I I can ask for guidance on on front if if he you... sucks here and sucks can be guidance. Yes. Try to give the help action okay. by using uh, Grizz's map of the area. Of course. To All right. Yeah, to try I, to like help find landmarks and stuff. That's I'd also, 20, it's I'd, I'd also like to help by beating Henry with a spoon. That is. Ah, uh, that would make Ruler feel better. <laughs> emotional assistance. Uh, <laughs> yes. It doesn't work, but it does work against Henry, I guess. As you sort of transcribe One. the location, uh, Hen uh, Fox goes. Oh shit! Do you see that? I I look I look back at the at what he's seeing right now. Shit! Uh, he's looking at a bunch of like trees. Trees. Can you give me a perception check with your perception? Perception. Okay. Can I ask for another guidance? Shit! Do you see that, man? <laughs> Fucking trees in this forest, man. Okay. Perception. Uh. Really good. Uh, Twenty-one. Normally, you wouldn't be able to see this, but thanks to the guidance aiding you from beyond, through Fox's eyes, you see a shape, a green, large shape, move through the canopy of the trees, uh. perfectly camouflaged, like, between the leaves. Not uh, impossible I to see, except that you do. I want to be honest, I want to say, like, Ruler's just sitting down, she had written down, like, the location of, like, like, we're circled down the location of where the kobolds are, and then you just see her stop immediately, drop the pen, go back into, like, the, the vision again. Like, her eyes probably glazed over in gold. And then you just hear her say, Oh shit, that's the dragon. <sighs> you notice it is flying... ...up to the edge of the forest. And then with a quick flight... ...it goes into the middle of the lake. In the middle of the day. Uh-huh. So it's, it's home is the lake, in the middle of the lake, isn't it? Hey, you remember who died in that lake? I, I got no idea. I'm trying to think, is there like an island out in the lake? There is. Let me move you to the map. Oh god, I'm so- I'm s Fox, the MVP again, my boy! There's a large that's, island. That's where the dragon is. Hmm. Uh. Like, I want you to understand, that island is big enough to house a city, potentially. Mm -hmm. Do I see exactly where the dragon goes in the forest? Uh, the Fox is not keen enough to keep a vision that yeah. steady or clear. Okay, that's oh. fine. Oh, we're on an island already, it seems, from the looks of this map. That's a continent. I think we're just on... Yeah, as they were. Oh, I see. Yeah, what is up with the scale on this map? Uh, let me check. Oh, okay, one sail is 13 miles. Oh, that's I, cool. I, can you can you set the distance per map map? Yeah. Or like per... Yeah. That's so cool. Uh, let me mm -hmm. also put this on the stream so the people on the stream can also see you just moving your markers. I want to make a ruler too. Yeah, yeah, there you go. You can just play as someone named Ruler, it's fine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good sized 
figured that, mate. Thank you, thank you. I did a little bit of research. A little. <laughs> All right. Uh, if I may, uh, Jen, can I can I ask Fox to do an aerial view over the camp and stuff like that, so they can check out how many kobolds there are and other stuff like that. You got it. And see what else they have. I'll inform you once I've done a culinary sweep. Culinary? Yeah, I'm gonna check the kitchen first. Uh. <laughs> He's oh stone. Gosh. He's still a little stone. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. Uh, it's uh, lucky the fucking dragon didn't see him. He's invisible. But and super far it away. It doesn't matter when it comes to a dragon. I know, he's still super far away. And he's he's a good boy. Uh, well, I, I was gonna say, it's like if, if I'm remembering correctly, dragon sight is like, far. Like, they can like, see a detail from like, miles. Oh, it's fine. They probably think he's just a bird. Uh, anyways, uh, take myself out of sight, uh, look the rest of the party, folds, folds her hands together. I know where the dragon is. Uh, it is on the island. Dragon? Uh. Damn. Hmm. How, how, what, what, what size was the dragon? Large. It is a large green dragon. Its home residence, I assume, is the, is the island in the lake. And, uh, on the map here, this is where the kobolds and Sabine are, and... Did I see this? Did I see any of the dragonborn, or no? Uh, no, you did not see any dragonborn from your brief time. Mostly kobolds. I only saw many kobolds, no dragonborn. There was Sabine there? No. Sabine was also not there as well. I've asked Fox to take more of a view for me, and come back to me when he's, you know, scouted it out, but... Uh... Grizz, this is the enemy's positions. Mm. I will go and check in if the mayor is still in the building. We need to first mm -hmm. of all ensure that this is done lawfully. And inform the authorities of what has transpired here. Once the mayor is informed, we can mobilize the guard. Uh -huh. Technically speaking, so... Zephyr also could support your endeavors and for the first time since you've really seen him he does crack a sly smile archibald nearly faints <laughs> damn such a simp huh anyways so you want me to assist as zephyr yes in this endeavor could you right. do me a favor zephyr yes. should have a badge on him I got the badge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the commander's yeah, it's badge. Yeah, on the desk there. May I, I think there's a couple of them. May I utilize it? Yes. I'll hand it over. Thank you. Which one? We got the... Looks like a commander's badge, and then we got one with some... It's red, white, and blue. Grizz looks at the uh, other one, and his eyes sort of, like, darken. Hmm. That is bad news. Very bad news. Uh, what is it? One threat at a time. He takes the commander's badge. Now, if any guardsmen attempt to stop me, so long as they're loyal to the Empire, this should buy me time, if at the very least, to convince them that I am working in the Empire's interests. Oh, it's really hard to hear you're so muffled. Yes, speak up. I am Grizz! <clears throat> You're you're cutting out, dude. Like like. Uh... So fucking dumb. Ah. I'm just gonna slurp on a coffee while we're waiting. Hi. You know, uh, uh... Hmm? Okay. Hello. Hello. Hi. Now. Hello. How you doing, DM? Bad. I'm gonna get a new microphone. New Year's resolution. Oh, yeah. Very good. Yeah. Uh, right. right. So, Grizz uh, goes, While you are using Zephyr's identity, I do not condone, I must say, state this, abusing his authority. I will, do, I will not do so. However, it might benefit us if the guard at least performs 
as adequately as it should. Zephon must have been using his position to undermine any of the actual still loyal guardsmen's actions. You know more about the guards than I do. Tell me what they need to know so I can help them. Uh, he's going to give you a few sets of quickly, hastily uh, scribbled orders. Uh, that's going to take at least like 20 minutes to write. Mm -hmm. And uh, he gives them to you and says, Before you exit, find someone of authority and give them these. They should be able to spread them around, but it has to be you. I give a nod. And, uh... Now. Was it... hmm. I will go to the mayor's office and see what I can find. You should apprehend Aldrok. If he is undermining the Empire, he must face judgment. And please do so quickly. He points at the emblem with the three colors, because this is terrible news. What, is, what does the emblem mean? It means that an enemy of the Empire has managed to somehow worm its way past the Empire's borders, all the way behind it. Hmm. Have we addressed the letter yet? I think we did. We read it. I know we read it, but I don't know if we've... Yeah, I we'll put the I'll take Riz's hands now. Yeah. We we'll would have made sure to put the letter on the table. And be like, this, this is, this is, this is the thing. This, this is the, the one thing we have on Zeph, and we can show that it was fake. Mm -hmm. Once I find the mayor, we should be able to present this as all the evidence we require to ensure that, well, for one, the guard may be reinstate someone truly loyal to the empire, and for two, that your action of mm, putting down the previous commander was entirely justified. Do not lose this letter. Did you want us to have it, or did you want to keep it? I hope it will be safer with you. Mm. <sighs> right. You're going to try to convince the mayor? Do you need any sort of notes or anything like that? I have known the mayor since my arrival here. It has been a long time since I've last saw her, but... Well, she's a very reasonable person. I don't think I will have any trouble convincing her, especially if you can present the evidence that you have found. But it should be you, not me. She's a very... <sighs> hmm, she's, she's, a, she's a character that prefers to see people doing their own work. Mm -hmm. No, I will believe you. All right. I would start putting Zephan's personal items on my, on my person. Like, I'd grab the Morningstar, I'd grab the shield... Uh, hmm? I will say, uh, as Grizz starts to head out, Archibald will be like, be safe. And he will, I'll hand one of those healing potions from the desk to Grizz. Oh. Because I'd rather him not end up dead. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's, that's, that's okay with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. I'm literally just staring with the uh, last remaining health potion. Just and staring. then, uh, as we're kind of grabbing the stuff off him, uh, Jen, I would like to get my grimy little mitts into that pouch that I made note of last session to mm -hmm. grab his keyring and pocket those. Okay. Can you give me a sleight of hand or stealth check, please? Oh, I'm not trying to hide it. I'm just... Oh! Getting my grimy little hands in there. Grizz stares at you, but... If he's upset... Like, he, he, if he's he, he just calls the keys up. He's like, I'm just kidding. Yeah, and if... I'll put that iron key that he handed me before back on the key ring. Mm. Mm -hmm. well, thank All you. Right. I, I have the stuff of Zephin. I look like Zephin. I think I can pass as Zephin. Just, I'm not good at speaking, so I does might need include, your help. Does that include the money? I'm kidding. Yeah, so if we're going to split the money up, it's one copper, because there's seven players, so it'll be one copper two silver, two gold, and one platinum for each of us, with a leftover party fund of one silver, six gold, four plat. Uh, All I'm saying. All I'm saying. I... You know, go ahead first, really. I was gonna say, like, Helios, I know that I'm not good at speaking. Would you be willing to help with me? 
help me with this? Of course. Whatever you I, need. I, I want to apprehend Adric as Zephan. I don't want to just kill him. I can help with that. Alright. I'm going to trust you. Uh, as this happens, all of you who have been feeling bad, uh, suddenly your wounds close up on their own. Out of nothing. Oh! Like, like hey! Just right watching, like, fucking broken legs, bruises, and cuts, like, disappear, and it's like, burn marks from electricity, it's like... Huh. That's disconcerting. <laughs> <laughs> Helios, Helios is just like... He got his lecture out, so he no longer feels upset. <laughs> a bit that's at what the... that was? Yeah. Uh, it's not fair. Oh my God. That's a lecture, <laughs> Helios, if you ask me. Uh, uh, is anybody else I... editing the uh, party notes right now, or am I good to put stuff in there? You can do it. Upon feeling the the cracks in the lower part of their legs uh, reform, reform into place, it just... Ed just kind of says, curious, your, your healing spell, which, which seems to be meant for for um, healing organic matter, is, has repaired my, my own body as well. That's magic, baby. I don't pretend to understand how it works. <laughs> it just works. I don't discriminate with my lectures. As, Hel <laughs> as Helia says that, the sunlight from behind the shattered glass shines perfectly to make like a beam of light apparate behind their head. Ah! And they're just gonna stop. She's so like, "All right, <laughs> <laughs> all right, I get it. You're blessed by the god. All right, I told you this head though." <laughs> Elias is like completely oblivious. He's like, "What do you mean by that?" I don't. A dove flies by. Oh my god, <laughs> Meta TF2 reference, oh my, uh, where is it, where, is it uh, Archimedes? I want to say we, we returned the jewelry, silk sheets, and the painting to the merchants, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so we can just get rid of that. We, we can say that that's what Helios was up to, like helping Felix returning the mm -hmm. stuff. It's like, well, the party's got Let's this shit handled, ring. I don't need to go with them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm wearing, I'm wearing the personal effects of, of, of Zephyr, by the way, so I can Hel more Helios. Helios yeah. showing up to that fight was literally like the, the community meme with the guy with the pizza. Yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> That's literally, literally. Uh, ruler. The good old Donald Glover. Uh, ruler. I was going to mention earlier ago with those guards or the go, the five of them that showed up. Yeah, I was looking at the couch meme. Hmm. Uh, before you exit, Ruler, you wish to talk to two of your fellow partner members? Yes. Uh, ruler as Zephan. How, how tall is Zephan? So I understand what this is going to look like. Zephan is like a solid, like, five five foot eight right so he's he's one inch taller than me that's good uh i'll look to uh henry real quick okay i don't trust you i never have i don't know if i ever will but this is going to be life or death i need to know that i can trust you with my life mm. was the contract not enough i mean i signed no. it Will you do something like that again, just killing him? Because I'm playing as Zethan. I cannot have you not listening to me in this moment. You know what? Before Stefan, you know, upped and fucking right on us, I would have not mind working with him. But with your kind of insight, you know what? Maybe a different employer in this case with maybe better benefits. I guess I can run with it, supposedly. I just need to understand this. Am I just gonna be a fucking glorified bodyguard, or am I, you know, someone needing compensation every now and then? If you act like a person, I'll treat you like a person with respect. Wait, hold on. Isn't he lit? What do you mean, glorified body? You're you were literally hired to be a bodyguard. <laughs> that that's literally in the contract. It was bodyguard like. <laughs> About what money? Yeah, you only get <laughs> two more than the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> Buy me a river. In the, in the background, Victor is just slowly raising the spoon. You know what? You know what? Can I make an attack? No. no. Can, can we just take this? 
I'm trying to do something. I'm just... All right, let, let Ruler have the same, because this is what she wants to do. All right, then my bad. It's me one. I'm sorry, I just... That's right. Did, did, how do we not have a, a bottle or anything to what she said? Or did she just, did he just not hear her? Uh, I didn't quite hear you, but uh, just real quick, out of character, Jin, would it be possible for you to make the uh, the text of the letter into a handout after the session? Yes. Perfect. Henry kind of just listens in. He's like, on second five. Okay. I'll change up my tune. I've just been used to the mercenary life. You understand this. And our little code, at least in my little group. First one to kill the target, or at least protect one another, that body's theirs to take their shit. And well, you were nearly the guy I would take all their stuff from, technically. This is awkward though, because you know, he, Henry just kind of breaks out the head again, just kind of plays like, I mean, I mean, he kind of was asking for it. Can you? Leave that somewhere where it won't be seen. You can't just carry that with you. Yeah, I was thinking of hiding it in the closet. If, if, or behind that bookshelf. He kind of, kind of puts it back on the sack. If you don't want to work with us, if you don't want to work with us afterwards, you don't have to. But at least be restrained while you're doing this. Is all. I, I frankly, I might have more reasons to stay. I need to go to the capital later. I don't know if you all will swing that way someday. Well, we'll see what happens if we stay alive. And I'll keep you alive. That's what and matters, will, right? And you will listen to us. As oh god, point. I just saw the text chat after finishing typing that stuff up. Socks, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what? Just for you. And considering the fact that you somehow gaslighted those gods, I gotta lay it on you. You are definitely capable of being a leader here. Oh. But that, I'll listen. Ruard looks immediately uncomfortable by that statement. I, I'm not sure about that, but yeah. Uh... Anyways, uh, <laughs> Edge, I have a gift for you. Yes. Uh, would you like to ride the nightmare into battle? Um, this would this would offer a tactical advantage. I mean, you could go really fast, and you are resistant to fodder. And it is mainly for the dragon fight and dealing with kobolds and other stuff. But right now, I want to say that the nightmare is under your command for the moment being. You did well on the fight, and I respect you for that. Thank you. I I am grateful that you would trust me with one of your your conjured servants. I will... I will attempt to ensure... to in, ensure its safety in the coming... in the coming co battles. I appreciate that. Alright, I believe we are ready now. And, you know, swings the... swings the morning star in the hand, shield on... I am not proficient in these. <laughs> but <laughs> right. anyway. Yikes. Uh, one more thing. Um... Uh... Um, Archibald. Yep. Um, do you still have that Morning Star that ca that com the commander was carrying? I believe it will be a, a more really advantageous, a more advantageous. Um, I believe that that will be a more advantageous weapon for me to use on on a on a mount. I I need to use it right I, now to make it look like that I am Zephyr. I will give I it to you the second that I am not Zephyr anymore. I understand. Uh, I suppose I'll, um, I, I understand that riding, that riding mounted, mounted creatures is normally a, a task that required, uh, requires at least one free hand. I'll, although I am a little, although my weapon is heavy, is quite heavy, I'm sure I will be able to make do. We're sure you can do two-handed, right? I have a... That's with them all. 
Oh, I, you can? You can two-hand out think, of bounds? I think so, because, like, the mount... You don't need to control the mount. The mount... You just told the mount what to do. Because, like, okay. it's okay. sentient. Oh. Oh. Well, yeah, in that I case, have, I, then I should, I should be okay. Yeah, I have... I will say, Jin, while this conversation is unfolding, uh, I, I would like, like Archibald to be just investigating, like, now that he's no longer in here, just going through everything. All the drawers, all the cabinets, everything, just, I'm just looking for... Please. He's jumping into each little, like, filing cabinet. Hey, yeah, <laughs> just kind of digging through on the Scrooge McDuck's the paper. <laughs> okay. Oof. I... Uh, 15? now, hold on. Uh, we can always come back and fucking search this place again. I'll hold on to my, uh, personal inspo. We had a 15, because guidance. We're yeah, it will take bad. time to, uh, find results because you're investigating. Oh, yeah, we probably should head out now, shouldn't we? We need, we don't have much time. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You were just looking around while the conversation was happening. Alright, <laughs> well, while we're, while we're, like, walking, can I, can I, as Zeph, can I just... And no, and being knowledgeable about the Gavarian military because of that really high roll I did, can I see anyone that looks of high status? As you're passing through, uh, so one thing first, if you're all leaving, uh, huh, Archibald, there's a lot of books here that pertain to the art of war, and in particular, the house of war and their practices. Most of the information is present in the Gavarian handout for the house of war itself. However, one thing that does catch your eye is Zephan has a collection of books um, from a variety of authors on uh, the teachings of Bane. Oh. Like, oh. Well, that one stand. That like those stand out. Uh, I will grab those and bring them down to stick in the uh, glove compartment. Mm-hmm. And on the way out, I will use uh, his key to lock the door. Mm -hmm. uh, amongst the tomes of Bane, uh, there is also uh, two other of note. Uh, old faiths and religions. And another on the gods are among us. Must resist. Making what? meme. Resist what? Yes. <laughs> okay. Don't take low hanging fruit. <laughs> okay. Good for but, you. But uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll pocket those as well. I was resisting making an Among Us reference. Ah, Jen. dated. Damn it. The session is now <laughs> stuck in the past forever. Rip. Uh, however, but, uh, yes. Uh, would you mind typing those out in the. I will type them out in the chat. Uh, appreciate it. Ruler. Oh. You're gone. It's <laughs> <laughs> hmm. like, really funny to me. Hey, listen, now's the perfect time if somebody wants to talk to Henry while we wait for Ruler to get back. Oh, I wanted to talk okay. to Ruler. But oh, yes. I'll, I'll take that opportunity. Archibald's yes. gonna like crawl up the front of him and like grab him by the collar and just uh, lean in close to his ear and go and if you ever disrespect Grizz again and he'll lean back and with like one free hand and like take one hand and just make like a neck cutting like a slowly draw his thumb <gasps> across his neck <laughs> he's like I'll make it look like an accident Henry, I first come up. Finger across the next means death. Metaphor. You know what? You know, you know what? You know what? Seeing this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help Henry a little bit. I'm gonna grab uh, Archibald like that, uh, like that fat rat meme, and just pick him up. Yeah. He's not. He, he, he's not using. He's just using one hand. Oh, yeah, Jin, at this point, would you say I've like digested the pie? Yes, you have. No. Yeah, the the, no. the chunky boy, the chunky boy. Yes, I I no longer have the the fucking like debuffs. <laughs> holy, holy shit! I mean, you're still being you're still being held in one hand like that fucking like that rat meme though. Right. Oh. Yep. 
Oh, I can't. Oh, I almost forgot about the most important thing I wanted to do this session. I'm still gonna. I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna hit Henry with the spoon. Oh my God! Why do <laughs> people keep bullying me? Okay, this is this is what I'm talking about. This is what happens. <laughs> it's like, look, this is what happens when you murder against the group's will. That was like one person. <laughs> Then it just became the group. Yeah, know. well, if this was like eating like one, you know, if this was like eating like the last slice of pie, that'd be one thing. That's like being mad you left the <laughs> pizza box. This totally killing the motherfucker. And now, granted, the motherfucker deserved it, because, you know, like he straight up just ruined Felix's life, amongst other things. It's like so he deserved it, but like, if. The group is like, hey, we should probably keep this guy alive to interrogate. <laughs> yeah, we, we literally interrogated him last sesh. We did! It's we did. Not, it's, if you're on death's door, like... Oh, sorry, Helis, yeah. It's, it's a bit different when he thought he could get away. If we had captured him and interrogated him a little bit more, we could have had a little bit of a better idea of what we were walking into and who like this queen that he's talking to is and like how deep the corruption in the city itself goes because right now we just know Sabine for sure and maybe the dwarf for listen, sure listen all I'm saying is that listen. I went with Henry's gut and that gut was yeah. to jump hell which is fair I'm not gonna knock you for in character shenanigans because it's always fun I mean, he did elbow drop him. You gotta admit, <laughs> that was cool. I will admit, that was indeed a people's elbow. But remember, Con you can non-lethally destroy a man. I could non-lethally get rid of his head, you know, from his shoulders. No, <laughs> no, that's that's, really that's I actually. Will... I would like to ask the group if I can borrow. 25 gold pieces from the party fund. Oh, dear God. Okay, so how Four. much do we have right in there right now? 4 platinum, 26 gold, 2 silver, 7 copper. But I well, need so 25 gold... 25 gold pieces worth of gold to grind into dust to cast a spell. Uh-huh. Um... Let's see, how much did we... How did we divvy up the, the money from, uh... Oh, everyone... Yeah, everyone gets to add- I've already added the overflow to the party fund. Uh, everyone gets to add one copper, two okay. silver, two gold, and one platinum. Alright. Oh. Everything else is in the fund. Dear God. Just need a little more. A lot more. I think I already got an idea of what to do with does the corpse. The, does the group so, fund have plat or no? Yeah, the group fund has four plat. Okay, I just don't... Oh, I should probably refresh my sheet because I don't see it in there. So, so just a quick question for uh, Henry. Yes. What is your plan? Oh, this is in character. Yeah, yeah for the... Yeah, for, you know, my for the plan? future. plan? Well... You're, 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 well, you're you're right, I can't good. really classify that. <laughs> Knowing that you roughly compensate me, what would I tell you my plans? You're getting you're getting compensated by living, getting fame, and helping people. Oh, and pay. Can't forget about pay. Henry's twenty seven. No, I twenty. No, twenty seven. Oh wait, you're twenty seven? No, oh, I have a man child. Oh, for fuck's sake! Wait, no, 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 no. how old is Henry? I think. Check. I think we're never telling this generous. It's like 29, 27. Jesus, okay. a teenager. That's just because of me. Damn. Sorry. Dude. Sorry. Wow. Wow. Let me just. I just. Oh my god. I think. I think Victor's older than you. <laughs> By like oh, a long no. shot. Listen. Henry's been through a lot of shit already. You just don't oh, know. Really? I couldn't know. I wouldn't have been able oh, to guess that. Oh, he's 29. Yeah, he's 29. I had to double check that little document. All right, all right. You know what? Respect your elders then. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, if it's okay, uh, because like I'm I'm gonna try to start making some gold on my own. So like, if needed, like I can put money back into the uh, group fund. But uh, there's a spell that I feel like 
would be very useful <laughs> in I'm specific willing, circumstances. I'm willing to spot you five out of my goal. Helios will give you five. Uh, Edge will, will give give up five. Uh, well, you guys don't have to give personal because there's 26 in the group fund. Yeah, but I want to hold on to that for ruler looking for spells because spell scrolls and paper get really expensive for wizards. Yeah, I just don't have the, I haven't had the opportunity to go sell some stuff and... Actually, yeah, but that, that's money. why I'm giving you I'll, personal I'll be gold to, too. Yeah, I'll be able to pay that back after a single sale is why I'm asking, but I also need 25 and I've only got yeah. two. So I'll give you five straight off the bat and then if you, like, I'm okay with you taking the rest from the group loot. Uh, That's what I'm trying to say. Also, like, I'm, I'm trying to also give, give Archibald five. Okay, right, so that's ten. Yeah, so you can take fifteen from the group loot. All right, I'll deduct that real quick. Well done. That leaves eleven in there. How old my character is? I didn't think that far ahead. Oh, you're kidding me! How do you think you, you fought deep into you know lecturing Henry, and yet you yeah. don't know about your character's age? No. I'm gonna. I swear. How old do you? How old do you think Helios is? Fucking thirty-five. Hmm. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. Okay. Comes yeah, that's from like old that, he is. Comes from like South Carolina, and he used to be a farmer wow. boy. Right. Yeah. Our so I will say, Edge doesn't know how old they are. Archibald's gonna just kind of walk. Like, gonna kind of go to his, uh, take that gold and go to his vehicle and just, like, open a little compartment and just dump the gold in and then just close it. And as he pushes a button, gonna go, <laughs> and you just hear, like, a, fu as a fucking, like, blender noise. Oh, my gosh. Henry's kind of just, like, shaking his head time to be just, like, yeah. Oh, All right. And he'll, like, He'll, he'll like pull out a little like a little container and like fill it up with a fucking bunch of gold dust. Nordic. Huh. Why? Why is the status of the cha channel on Cal and God's favorite? Because I'm God's favorite. I don't I'm know what to, to tell you. I'm about to fucking. Get... <laughs> oh, oh. Listen, I, anybody, I, anybody I, can I, change I, the activity I, status. I've just been right, slightly. <laughs> so. Oh, hi, Jen. Yes, I've yes. just been listening. I shouldn't. Oh, no, no, you didn't. <laughs> totally fine, totally fine. So, we've reached the point where I have to ask if you wish to continue playing, because technically this is the end of the session. I think, oh. I think, oh. um, this is a good place to call it for the session. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Like, we're about to go off and do stuff, All right. and we've already, you know, figured out our stuff. What about the rest of you? Um, I gotta do I'm... something in like a, like 41 minutes, but I can't just wait around here. Well, waiting is fine. However, wait well, in the VC at least. However, if yeah. we're not going to be rushing into anything immediately, then I think it would be best to call it here. Uh, there is one more thing I should bring up. Currently, it is the 9th of the 12th of 2023. Uh, as of right now, we're entering the end of the year uh, with the winter holidays. I wanted to ask about the next session if people would be available to play on Saturday. It, there's a very good chance that people are going to be spending time with their families, so I just want to clarify and see. Ah. Uh, let me check. Uh, I'm available next I, week. Yeah, I should be I'm available on Saturday. But, but not the other Saturday. Like, the 23rd, I'll be gone. I'll be on the Yeah, yeah uh, um... I... Uh, well, I'll be I'll be available during the day on, on the 23rd. Uh, but... And, and on the 16th. Mm hmm Okay. Uh, I'm asked... Oh, yes, Adrian? I was gonna say, uh, I'm, I'm available, unless I get dragged out to an event. Okay. Uh, Ruler? Uh, fine for any week. I'm, I'm, I'm A-OK. -okay. Uh, okay, if I am able to run, then next week we should be still able to have a session going. If anything happens throughout the week that takes over that part of my time, I will notify everyone, because I might be yoinked away uh, into family activities myself, and well, I can't mm -hmm. run if I'm not present. I, I know, 
I'm good for next week. It's the next two weeks, like after that, I I yes. I work. Yes, yes. Uh, which means that next week sounds like we have our final session for the year. Uh, we should be able to be fencing cleaning up this arc of the campaign. I I get to play Zephyr. Yeah, <laughs> have an idea for a little old Henry. Just an idea. Mm. So, Jen. I, did you expect the disguised self Zephyr approach? No. <laughs> no, I did not. Did you expect the party to murder Zephyr? Yes. Well, no. yeah. I'll be honest. Yeah. I, that's I, fair. I, Why? I, I, ah, y'all, you're really, you're really holding me hostage here. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I have played with a lot of players who have been killing enemies first, ask questions later. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah. I have to expect that. I'm just love that I'm just walk up to Alaric and be like, "Yes, I am Zephyr. Yes, you are under arrest for for treason." Hmm. Uh, however, this will be uh, the end of our session. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, I'm gonna end the stream now. Bye. 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 Bye.